Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Friday Night Bricks. We are up to episode 308. Uh, Woohoo! Yes. Uh, this is a picture of one of the kids when the Kids Fest came to Denver. This is Taylor, one of the kids I who was battling cancer out in Colorado. He did pass away. One reason I'm kind of showing it this week is I did confirm on Monday that his mother had actually passed away. Lost your battle with depression, so you know it's real. When you lose your only child, it's a, it's a real battle. So, but I spent a lot of time with Taylor and the PICU out in Colorado at the Children's Hospital. So, did spend some time there. So, um, building with him, we built Lego sets. I think I, I think corporate didn't like that very much, but I was like, <laughs> I'm building a Lego set with a kid with cancer that's going to go on display. I mean, I, I don't know what's wrong with that, but. I guess there was something wrong with it, but so, yep. So, yep. So that's kind of what's going on there, you know, uh, but um, other than that, yep, it's, it's another Friday night. Hey, Jeff, Jeff's in the chat. So I'm going to probably be taking apart igloos tonight. I was working on some design stuff for my huge build for Chicago, which the collab is shrinking. You know, Ralph is not coming now. So, there will only be one massive team army, as, as far as I know. I've not heard from Chop. I don't know what's going on there, but I need to support whatever's going to be above me. So I've been building some some prison towers to be down there. So kind of made a couple bricklink orders today and whatnot. So so I'll be taking apart igloos, which I'm no longer using. Uh, Jesse, I'm guessing you're prepping for part two of D and D tonight. I yeah, I'm taking some notes. And uh, I'm still using old new notebooks, but I got a delivery today. Some cool paraphernalia. Mm. I got oh, snap. <clears throat> some some stuff for logging. This is uh, a cool uh, notebook that magnetically closes and just has a bunch of graph paper. And uh, so it's, fancy. It's really fancy. So I plan to use that for the next campaign mm -hmm. and then this is like i can put a player's handbook or a dm's guide in it and then put a bunch of character sheets and stuff and it has notebook paper oh, also cool. so that came today so i'm really excited to so just basic, have that some basic cheat sheets when people are confused about some, how some of their spells works or whatnot you know yeah you can get cards for that stuff and i don't have those magic cards so uh maybe someday Maybe someday. So Larry and then uh, Larry. Oh, it's easy. Wants a, a beverage. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I might be enjoying a Friday night cocktail. I did, I did have. I did. Well, I kind of. I I I, I mixed some uh, <clears throat> peach schnapps with my root beer on Wednesday night, but you know, I actually it could have been butterscotch, which I was drinking last night. Butterscotch and root beer that was a little bit better. So, but. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Larry, I'm just working on, on the uh, the castle, man. Yeah. Working on the castle. Working yeah. on the castle. Yeah. <clears throat> hold on. I need to work on something, you know. Uh, oh, hold on. I should have should have maybe balanced the other camera before I started tonight. I was running around. So this is actually this is. <clears throat> This is the armory of the castle. There's, cool. a, for, there's a forge here in the Jeez, corner. Going all out on the floor and everything. Oh, gotta, yeah. gotta. Are those like a nice, uh, like silver metallic? Uh, they're just, uh, they're just dark gray ingots. Oh, yeah. But the new and shiny. We had like the silver metallic we used on ours, like a silver, silver metallic thing. I got a, I had a ton of them because. For our collab, I made the mistake of having a couple sections of uh, road, and so I have a lot of those because I had a large road. Section. It's like a good pattern. Like you, you got it. It breaks up in there. It's not complete. Yeah, it's 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 pattern. like a it's like a herringbone pattern. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's working it's on amazing. This, uh, I looked at the floor, and it's amazing. This yeah. this, this <laughs> staircase was no Zizu. I won't make it big screen. It won't make a big screen. It won't what was that, Larry? 
I said working on this the staircase in the corner is a trick. Yeah. You got three wide. <clears throat> yeah, it's a three wide site because I got the uh, the printed wood pattern. I don't know if you can see but I'll turn it that nope. way. Wait a minute, hold on. Oop, that way. Yeah, that way. There you go. Oh jeez, get the printed wood on the yeah on all out here. That was uh, that was our <laughs> project visible. Well, yeah, because this this side right here, that's all going to be open. Now the oh. staircase, the staircase may or may not, but it actually goes up. There's three levels as you can see. We're on we're on step number one. Been working on these massive Jordan's corners. It is so tricky because, <clears throat> believe it or not, that that whole floor in there, it's a floating floor. Yeah. So. I believe it. So it. much fun. It's, it's like, I, you know, I just, just can't just build a castle. You got to make it really super difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> that is that is three of ten different floors I'm building. Now, those are the medium-sized floors. Three of the others, don't, they don't have the Jordan's corners. They're just regular rectangular spaces. And the other four are in a tower above it. So those are going to be smaller. But, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, Sounds yeah. Good. Go big or go home. There we go. And then, and with that, we can go to the chat and say hi to Troy. Looking good, Larry. Thank you, Troy. Zizu's here. Got an oh wow in there. We got a dude, Jude. <laughs> so we got a brick enforcement. And I got some. I got some ingots there for you, Zizu. Uh, a thousand. I ordered a thousand. That's that you think it goes a long way. You do, it goes quick. However, oh uh, macro? Macro's here. It's warming my heart. Uh, uh not every floor is gonna have those ingots. Um in fact most floors will not. <clears throat> the out there's the outside of the uh like the uh Top of the main level of the castle, like where these doors, the the, the uh, armory go outside, that will probably be those ingots. Um, everybody is using those for the roadways and the paths throughout the medieval town. Um, second layer is actually going to be a pattern of these, because that's going to be the. That's gonna be the royal. The royal quarters are gonna be up above that. So All right. the king's bedroom. So that's gonna be the bigger tiles, and then above that is just other bedrooms uh, for the the rest of the royal family or guest rooms or whatever. Probably do the same thing. I don't know. <sighs> Hi, Nikki. Greetings. All right, I, I'll be right back. I gotta get my pizza. And with that, back to you, Reed. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at something. I was actually because I'm actually also working on stuff, so I actually just threw a couple. I threw a couple pictures real quick, sent them from my phone because I was working. Actually, they were they were shown live on Hoosier Stream last night because I was on there briefly, and so so basically, kind of working on trying to elevate. This would be I got to build I got to build a rock around this, but this would be the elevated um, orchestra slash band pit on the side of the disco which is over here where these green dragons are at there's a a roller rink which uh with a support system in the center that will be like three base plates long tgif and so so yep so it's kind of yep so here you go so i'm working with different sec different stuff to try to figure out how to make it work but that's you know the goal is to support three base plates across the top so this would be the lower table and then whatever's above it would be on base plates, so I got to build support. So the yellow supports are just for a uh, look, just so people can kind of see. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. That's what up, KO? How you doing out there? Kind of building. Got a lively to... chat. Yeah, tr trying to figure out how to use like the one by 
the the bricks with the studs on the side, but they're only the one and two thirds tall, so they're not fully two. But trying to not use all of those on building like a plate wall, like what Larry was doing with his his side built slopes. But I gotta see if I got enough slopes to do that. So I suspect some brick link orders coming because I got wow. stuff. I just don't have the stuff I need. <laughs> Uh, that's the sad part. It's always that's the sad part. You always have lots of brick. You just don't have the brick you need. Yeah. Okay, start. Yeah, it it is a lively chat Shut tonight. Shut ears. Cheers. I'm not drinking beer yet, but I plan to. And look at this cool glass I got with critical bricks engraved on it. Did you get that done locally, or was that like a mail order type thing? That was a mail order thing. I was like, oh, that glass looks cool. And they're like, put whatever you want on the top. I was like, well, okay, put critical bricks on there. Oh, okay. Oh, just so you just had just the top. The bottom part was already done, so it was uh, you were just augmenting it. Yeah. Right. I need a closer look at that. I came running down the stairs when you said critical bricks glass. <laughs> nice. We'll spill your pizza. Some beer in there and see what it looks like. But I, I assume you got a, a full dozen of those, right? Send out for yeah. Christmas gifts. I was thinking about yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about gifts. I have to try it out first. Right. As soon as I saw that, I went and looked too, but I was thinking that the, the bottom was something you did too. And so I was like, well, those you have to order like 70 or something or something. Like, well, that's a lot. I, to do that, so. I am in D and D mode. I am in D and D mode all the time. Yeah, I uh played with my character, got all my level six stuff. Okay, good. Uh, not a lot. Really, with the rogue, you get uh, uh, proficiencies. So I'm just a more badass rogue. Bang. Yeah, I'm a modifiers. <clears throat> Thanks, Kale. Thanks, Nikki. Um, yeah, lots of lots of just uh, yeah. getting ready for that. Uh, part two, we're gonna gonna go level six with you guys. So, I hope that helps, like, you know, personalize the characters a little bit. Yeah. I kind of wish we spent more time, but I did want to jump into it, like, as soon as possible with all the people watching. Um, but maybe it would have paid off to do backstory session zero stuff. Look who's here. Yeah. Yeah. Forgot he can add it. He can add himself. Yeah. TJ, what's up, man? <laughs> what's up, guys? What up? It's just a world of Lego. Yeah, same here. Oh, that's good. Well, you know, as we get to the good weather, we should all be outside. But now we're frantically building for all the upcoming show shows that we have. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> frantic, frantic, and frantic. Never ending. Hey, oh, why would you need to run? <laughs> right. I don't think it's run. It's it's jump up, kick back, turn around, and spin, or something like that. Flip around and spin, but yeah. <laughs> We were close, Jesse. I'll get it one of these days. I totally want to karaoke that song, but it's so fast. So fast. We got we got new Ninjago episodes dropping next week. That little dragon's getting bigger. Raya? Yeah. Ryu, yeah. Ryu? Yeah. When uh when is that coming out? Thursday the fourth. Okay. April 4th, big release day, and Ninjago at the same time. I won't be buying anything right away, unfortunately. What's the um, best way to watch those Ninjago shows? I think it's on... The Netflix is the best way, yeah, but there's yeah. a few things missing. It's actually on Netflix. Yeah. That works. yeah, most of it's on Netflix. There's like a couple exceptions. And yeah. they do the dreams on there, too? I think I think so, but Dreams is also on YouTube. At least the first season is. So, oh, 
I'll have to check it out again. So I like the dragon theme. I've, I've been working on Temple Verjutsu. So there's this, which is one of the side buildings. No, none of the colors are right, but yeah. This is happening. This is that one of those uh, structures. It's like the sand green building. Hmm. That's in the Temple of Arijitsu. Although, interestingly, in the show, there isn't actually any sand green on the building. But I'm going to add sand green on the building. Partially because I don't have enough dark brown. I was using this my sand green uh, one by two plates hidden to uh, as like a support. Add let me go get more of it. So you grab whatever whatever I've got. Oh, Dang. Oh, there we Keep go. Keep it busy. So I've come up with a roof technique, as you can Ooh. see. It's nice. all going to be black in the end. Okay. Right now it's a mix of colors. Did TJ just make me drink? <laughs> But now, now I have to order a bunch of parts in black. <laughs> so, I've run the calculations. I need a couple thousand black cylinders. Man. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I think I was just looking at something like that in mine, and I did not have very many black. Lots of brown. It's one of those things, it's one of those colors you just, like, you don't know. I think and this is the, the in progress of the other building. Nice. I finished the design on this one. I just have to get all the right colors. Yeah. Yeah. Now Jesse with that insider that the that one the book for the for the like the D D stuff that yeah. that's, in, that's in the insiders, is that something that's gonna be able to be purchasable separate from the set, or does he have to have the set to buy it? I believe you could probably do the insider points without buying the set. Because it'll be like a separate reward. Yeah. Well, it, it'll be a free digital download or cost insider points to get the physical copy. Yeah. Right. So, digital copy with the set, physical mm -hmm. copy outside the set. We're doing pretty good tonight, Kevin. Did you need to come in and, you know, do a last pu dish push for your book or did you make it? You made it. You made it? Oh, yeah. Either. I was telling myself I still need to get do that, and I forgot. To do Little it. Book Two is achieved its Kickstarter I mean, but that doesn't mean you can stop there. I believe you could still go in there and I know make I sure you get your extra tiers of stuff if you want. I still need to get in there. I just was something. Uh, oh, fully, fully funded as of Wednesday. Night. I think it was a good deal to get both books, but I already have the first one, so that deal actually didn't work for me, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, I got the first book, too, somewhere floating around. And it's locked. Sunday at 6. Fully funded. I'll have to do it tonight before yeah. I go to bed. I got a library show tomorrow. Too many shows. I can't take apart old mocks yet. It's terrible. All your orders in. Uh -huh, yeah. I think I used that emote somewhere. I think I used that emote on hauling and balling this last Sunday when he was asking for people for for that huge drawing he did. Pick had that huge that wheel. You guys think my wheels are bad sometimes. That wheel. Yeah. Is I never know when to to like watch to like pay attention for his contest. Mm. Well, that I was know. I think he just did something. Yeah, he did something on the. I don't know what was. It's like all of a sudden, you know, I saw the wheel, but I don't think I saw. Maybe I saw the winner this time. I don't know. Well, I think they did. It, well, that one, yeah, that one, uh, yeah, I don't remember. But I know he did a smaller one at the, you know, at, at part of the show that was smaller. The process of elimination, so they did until the last, last man standing type thing. I made it to like, like the last four or five or something like that. I'm like, oh well, you know, it's tough to watch. But uh, 
Yeah. Well, they're doing. They tried a new. Uh, they tried a new contest other than just the guess who. They did uh, guess the instructions, and so you'd have a page from an instruction. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good when you did that. That's good, that actually. Was, yeah, I like that. Cheap ass. Kind of nice. That was. That was oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, some, yeah, I mean, a couple of them I think I thought I maybe knew, but it was like I, you know, I couldn't guess fast enough. Guess, guess, poo, I've got my my secrets for, you know, cert, certain stuff to keep open for that. But um, I think the one time I won, I was I was actually sitting where I shouldn't have been sitting and actually won, actually, just by guessing, blindly guessing, so. I haven't really been paying attention to too many of the GWPs. Yeah, GWPs for April. Of course, the Mimic, which is only with the D&D &D set. Yeah, I believe the there's a there's a botanical GWP. I think it's the Flower Trellis. Mm. $150 on anything. So if you're getting the D and D set, you're getting that. Oh. And then I also heard that the retro food truck is coming back, but only with icons, modular purchases. So the museum, the jazz club, or the hotel. There's no way some of those deals. Yep. Too many. Yeah. Too many. Too many things. I just have to. I'm not selling anything to offset. Hey, oh, what's what's Teo's question? Couldn't find the Couldn't find book. Say, suppose you have foes like fly or topple off a cliff. I guess he's trying to say. Can you get any height advantage in attacking? Isn't that like with uh, our rogue in the chaos crew? If you were up higher, you could actually have advantage, maybe sometimes. Maybe I think that I mean I think that was just sneak attack. I mean I don't think it was. A... Uh, I think he says he wants to jump off of cliff and attack up somebody. <laughs> so do you get like a couple extra damage points because you're right coming down with weight with your weapon? I don't know. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, your DM would have to make the decision. Say, you, you know, if you if you colorfully explain how you want to, you know, th you know. Um, yeah, don't you, forget about the falling damage. Says, be cinematic, you know, with with the way you say it, and you you can sometimes get rewarded with some extra damage there. But uh, mechanic wise, and that's how I play a lot, is more of a referee. Um, uh, here's the straight up rules. You'll be built like a tank. Less damage. So it depends on how far you fall. And I would probably award a crazy, like, like every 10 feet you fall, you take 1d6 damage. Sure. So mm -hmm. if you jump down one 10 feet, I would add that damage to the bow you want to hit. But you might also take that damage if you're not like smart on how you land. Well, we've, we did a, we've done a few acrobatical jumps back in the day of the uh, Chaos Crew that were entertaining at best in terms of you know trying to utilize some kind of a jump or a leap to try to cowabunga. Yep, yep, yep. He was one of the first. Yep, the cowabunga. <coughs> Getting a little you from him. Too fancy with it, and you 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 met you you're chancing a trip and a fall instead of straight up attack. Well, I was I was I was I was tempted to jump in off of the palisade, you know, but I was talked out of it by my 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 crew not to do that. Jump into the fray. So, or did I? I can't remember. How hey, is Kevin tonight? Hey, Kevin. Mm, pretty good. That's good. What are we working on tonight? Lego. Well, I it is a Lego stream, so I was kind of hoping that. But any specific Lego you're doing? Are you doing a sort? Are you doing a build? I'm been working on a build that's been plaguing me, and now I'm just cleaning up so I can get back to moving all my other builds along. 
Oh, so you finished some of your top secret builds, so you could go on to the ones that are not so secret. No, I'm. I've been trying to work on a design that I I think I'm pretty close, but oh. it's a non rectangular design, so it's been a pain to work with. Wow, it's, 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 it's getting it's getting panel. busy in here tonight. Busy panel. Hello, Kevin. What's up? What or what is Mr. Hinkle working on this evening? Because we know it's not the you leave me. Stuff. No, it's not. But you know what I wanted to talk to you about, Reed? And this is legit. This is not fishing. I'm not trying to prod. I want to talk about retail for a second. Um, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I got a, I got a new job. Uh, so I'm a graphic designer at uh, a little shop in the mall, in the infield mall, which is a very nice. dead mall. But yeah. Um, so it's one of those sh stores where people can come in and do custom printing of whatever they want onto whatever they want. Uh, so, you know, I did some, I did some baby onesies today, but so that's irrelevant. The, the thing that I wanted to talk about is we had an, the mall had an Easter egg thing today for the kids. So all the stores had to have Easter eggs for this free event where you could bring your kids and they go stores very much like Halloween read back in the day. Yes, um, yes, the Lego store. Yes, yes. And One I'm time. assuming I, I'm guessing Wagner. Did you do a Halloween Lego retail ever? Uh, we didn't do like a full blown. I think we might have had a couple little things to find, but it was yeah. after they. It was when they started scaling some of that stuff back down. I feel like they've gone back up again now since uh, I left. So I was uh, reminiscing. I was reminiscing um, about. Uh, yeah, don't get too excited, Brick Enforcer. So I, <laughs> I was reminiscing uh, about. The old make and take. What did they were they called make and takes? What, were, what do uh, they call them? Yeah, mini build, mini builds. Yeah. I see. I didn't even remember the name. Talk I about did. pandemonium. Well, <laughs> that was until Eric just decided mm -hmm. to try the fast pass. So we were the first ones that did that, and then everybody did it until they did the digital. So yeah, that, that was, was that was easier. And I mean, it wasn't that. Like, let, I'll be honest, it wasn't that bad, but I mean, it was like 400 kids today and it's like giving out a bunch of eggs and, you know, the owner wanted me to give out a business card to everybody too. So it was like a whole bunch of spiel talking and a whole, you know, um, and you just like, you just go and go and go. And, and I was sitting there going, man, I haven't done this in like 15 years when I was sitting in the mall yeah. and I was doing either Halloween, like bricks for the kids when they're doing trick or treating, or I was doing the monthly mini builds, which I had forgotten about until this exact day. I was like, oh, dear Lord, we you used know, to have lines. Was. It was like, man, what a time. What a time back then. <laughs> like, do you remember that? Uh, like, you know, every Lego store in the country would just have these two-hour waits. In like, it was just insanity, and it was every single month. Yep. And they used to show you on the calendar when you can do that. Yeah, it was such a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, it's free Lego, right? So people are going to show up. But it's just like, it was such a legit <laughs> nightmare. That's the, uh, that was the beauty of my employment at the Lego store is they, I had a full-time job and they yeah. asked me if I wanted to work there. And, and I said, well, I'd only be able to work weekends. And I was like, that's fine. You can just work one weekend day a or one weekend day a week. And then they said it was fine to, give away two of my days so i would work two days a month yeah. at the lego store and still get the discount and i that job cost me so much money <laughs> what is what is this reed what are you doing is this is, is it the kind of place i could do read like make the shirts like i used to make yeah that's exactly that is literally exactly what we do we, sweet we we have people like mr reed yeager come into our shop and say i have a thing can you print this on a shirt um, so yeah, like today, today I did three, I did two baby onesies and I did a tumbler for a kid that wanted to make it for his grandpa. And I mean, we just do whatever you like, literally whatever you want. It's like, Oh, I want to do it for my business or I want to do it for my school or I want to do it for a relative. And we print on everything like apparel, keychains, yeah. uh, air fresheners and cars, uh, food. 
license I was gonna plate. say I need my shirts updated. So my shirt hasn't been updated in many years because once I moved out of Colorado, that was where I did it at Colorado Mills. Yeah. So I had to- this guy come in yesterday and he was like, he was definitely on something. But he came in yesterday and he's like, Can I get this license plate? Um, it's like a blank license plate. And he's like, Can I get this with like my car brand? And I was like, Yeah, man, we can do whatever you want. And he's like, Now will I get pulled over? And I'm like, All right, this is a question for a police officer. <laughs> I am only a graphic designer in this mall. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. It's actually pretty. I mean, it's a it's a very low paying gig. It is minimum wage, uh, but it's not hard. It's not a hard job. But it's it's retail and it's graphic design. So I kind of know, I kind of know what I'm doing. You're That's somewhat right. familiar with that. I'm somewhat familiar with those things. So, but yeah, I was, uh, it made me think of you, Reed, because I'm like, oh man, all the retail stuff. And who do I know that likes to talk about retail stuff? I was like, no. Well, um, yeah. what was what was some of the crazy stories from mini builds and giveaways and stuff from your past, Reed? Come on, you know you guys. You know what, you know what makes me laugh about this is, you know what? You all right, guys, called- have a good night. I'm heading out. <laughs> You should have you should have called me earlier because you know what's wild is I did have open maybe I still have it open um let me see actually I probably do let's see here I have I have your stuff in here I have some what, stuff of yours what is oh, that actually here while we're talking retail we're talking yeah. retail yeah, yeah. let's let's show let's show some history here let's show something that Kevin built that was pretty awesome I wish oh. I wish I could replicate it Kevin do you remember this? Oh, yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. I was really proud of that. This is a good mock. That was. And I took really nice the pictures. Back room, the back room mess with the with the to- with the bathroom back there. And everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, I think some of the pictures I some of the pictures of some across were really old because I was looking for some. I was trying to do a video tonight because uh, I think I, I don't know if I told you, but um, Michelle Taylor's mom had passed away. And so mm-hmm. last week. And so I was going to make a video. I just couldn't find all the pictures I wanted to throw in there. So I'm sure I thought I had, I thought I stumbled across some really old ones. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. This, 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 this better be good. This, this, this is good. This is good. I, th- I feel sorry for, I feel, poor, I feel sorry for this Lego brick built sculpture because um, i think he's outnumbered I'm, I'm just thinking he might be just a little outnumbered spongebob or, or spongebob yep five Sp- first spongebob me boy hey there we go there's a, there's me for a birthday party look at this see guys we don't ever get to see oh, photos of reed wearing, is that a brick built hat reed no that is a that is a cheese a, a foam cheese head <laughs> with, with some lego built around it but you know look at these sets <laughs> the look at that look at that nice Castle set, drawbridge set back there on the back. I think isn't that the one? With the <laughs> Marie, Marie, we're like looking at this wonderfully heartwarming moment of you building with kids, and you <laughs> zoom in, you zoom into the box <laughs> in the back. You're like, oh, well, hey, here, here you go. How about the trees over here? The pick a brick trees in the back there. You know. <laughs> uh, okay. You did. Uh, that was amazing. Yep. That was amazing. Oh man. Here we go. Buzz. Buzz. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, bad I was I was there with my kids to help build that Buzz Lightyear. Wow. I think that was the one where I think I no, that was R2. I'm thinking. I where was I, I was like, oh, it's so cool. They're gonna let us build. Hey, this is this is how to have fun. These oversized two by four bricks. I just seen that picture so many times. I don't know why, but I've seen it many times. Yeah, this is this is the kind of fun you have in a store when you're not working hey and the guy in the background is from out east uh i can't think of his name to save his life do you remember kevin uh, are you are you saving no. his life no i don't remember lots of atlanta stuff there lots that guy atlanta. looks that guy looks super familiar uh oh, is that eric? Eric? eric he worked at he went to school of mines he was the one i traded my motorized atat for i got Did a regular one went to a school of mimes School of Mines. I wish it was a school of mimes. That'd be of funny. Mines, right? like M I N D. I M I N E S. Oh, mines. That's that's really boring. 
Okay, there we go. There's your recall. It is actually right very boring, but it's the, probably the, there, the there you go, Kevin. There's your theology yeah, college. Yeah, that, that would right be Platteville up here. Is that is that a picture of the line for the mini build? Yep, at at Colorado Mills. Oh yeah. Hey, there I am. Wow. Where, where are you? Where where? <laughs> Larry. Larry's being a sucker. troll. Uh, I don't know. That's. I don't know. That's. What is that? Why are you showing irrelevant photos now, Reed? I don't know. Oh, there we go. There's one. Because it's Friday night. Hey, who's this guy in the upper left? Who's this guy up here? Wow. Friday night retail. Man, this is the the wild thing about this photo. Is though, that this your is, uh, is that your profile is, picture, Kevin? <laughs> yeah. The wild thing is genuinely wild. That is the entire staff of that store. When we <laughs> that was everybody on staff, full hands on deck. Can you imagine wow. a Lego store with that many? Like, come on, what are we doing? Eight people, full staff. Ridiculous. Yep. Lines around the block. Yeah, this is probably, isn't this one of yours too? Oh, I forgot I did that because I didn't think it was good. So I didn't take any pictures of it. Well, yeah, I did. I, I built. My, my I built the micro scale of this for my first Brick World Chicago. You got can I can I can I spill some reed tea for a second? So uh <laughs> we need a banner. Please I told, do. Well, no, <laughs> no, no, it's not Jesse. it's not it's not bad. It's not bad. But I told no, Reed never mind. I told Reed forever ago. Years, I mean, dude, what was it, a decade ago? I was like, I told him what he should do for hope for Hope Castle. I thought this would be a stellar idea. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong. I said, because the, the you know, the at its core, Hope Castle is like, it's a translucent castle. It's for people that have passed away from illness. I said, you should turn this into a collaborative micro build where people can build towers, translucent towers for people that they have lost due to cancer or whatever. And it all comes together at a show and you can make like a, almost like a grid so people come in and they all lock their <coughs> towers in i was like reed this would be an amazing collaborative thing to drive and then i made a micro scale castle to get you started and you never did it is this, an origin? Is this an origin story <laughs> an origin. where is that micro scale castle oh, origin story i don't know I sent you a photo. You probably saw. I don't have the photo. I have a photo. Still it would have been an origin story. This is like an alternate universe read. But like, story. what do you? What do you like? Okay, peanut gallery. Is that like? I think that's a great <laughs> idea, right? Peanut like, hey, gallery. all you have to do is make a little, you know, a six or whatever, eight by eight, six by six, ten by ten. What doesn't matter. Make a tower out of clear, and it's dedicated to someone in your life that has passed away due to cancer. Reed is the, he's driving the collab, right? He's like, here's the grid. Here's how many slots I have. Show up. Everybody plugs in their towers and you got the light, the LED lights underneath it. Like, I think that would be all star. Uh, First off, I take offense as being referred to as peanut gallery. <laughs> Ditto. Secondly, uh, I think the problem is that it would get too big too fast and you'd have a hard time maintaining that. Depends on how personal the connection is. Yeah. I mean, if you that's fair, if you're only doing it with people that have lost someone, then you probably then it would probably work. But if you get kids building every single time and you end up with because it was it show. was uh, read, it was specifically people that passed with cancer, right? Yeah. But yes, then that probably would have been a very good idea. You'd probably be a millionaire right now. You but could be a millionaire right now. So. Reed, can you imagine how many ice bears you'd have? I'd have them all. You might be an ice bear. <laughs> I thought I already looked like one, but that's okay. So yeah, I was I was bummed that you never like gave that idea a shot. I was like, man. Do you like crowdfunding for for the you know the family? Crowd bricking. And then yeah, get a few get a few set aside for the bricks to make the tower. <laughs> Hashtag crowd bricking. Let's get it trending. Come on. Mm -hmm. Johnny G. I don't know if I have any spicier tea. <laughs> uh your doodle book got oh, it, okay, correct. There we go. It did on correct. Wednesday. I just stumbled upon it. I just found it. It got my that was my first shift in my new job, and my phone was blowing up, and I'm like, guys. I'm at my job. <laughs> guys, I quit. Look, there it is. Look. 
micro scale hope castle i was getting re i was oh trying, wow that looks I really was, good nice i was really <laughs> trying to like push reed into like this direction to be like collaborative and to, why like, didn't you do that reed that would have been awesome because <laughs> i because i fell short why i don't know i fell short. i think it would have been like i think it would have been like super cool I like the, everybody uh, coming in with a like see the thing on the right look you see the thing that's like eight by eight or whatever that was that's like the proof of concept for reed i said look reed give everybody a particular a particular size and they make a tower here's the specs for the tower it's this, everyone's tower is the same but they just has to be made out of clear because that's the thing and then if you want to put some little like landscaping details you can or not but then everyone brings this thing and you just set the stage for them Mm -hmm. And you have this beautiful memorial of people coming together at like Chicago, because I know that's important to you, and be like, look, you have this, you book however many tables, you make like a grid system where they can just like snap it in, right? Like maybe make it tiles and it just sits in it. And then you could be this guy that everyone's bringing together these towers dedicated to loved ones that have passed away due to cancer. Like I was like, Reed, what are we doing, Reed? I'm, I'm giving it to you on a silver platter. I was like, what are we doing? It's not too late, Reed. Oh, it's never too late. Kevin, oh, you've met me, right? Sometimes it's too late. I have. <laughs> oh, didn't I? I'm seeing now the memories are coming back. Didn't I say I was like, Reed, you have enough, you have enough clear plates yourself that you could put together little like baggies and like sell it as part of like say, you know, you want to buy the the clear plates Harder if pack. you want to do, you know, because you have so many. That hurts um, right there. That hurts. That hurts. To sell my clear plates. Well, you could have just drained the wall at the time when they had those on the thick brick wall and bought all you would ever need. Uh, actually, by the time this was proposed, the clear plates were no longer on the wall, I believe. The clear plates or the clear bricks? Clear plates. This is all plates, my boy, not bricks. Plates. Well, the, I thought you said clear bricks, Reed. No, I said clear. <laughs> uh, thank you, Nikki. I appreciate it. That was pretty good. I thought it would have been a cool idea, but yeah. So the disconnect it. is no collaborative effort <laughs> I, was. I, did, I right? actually have. Yeah. I still have a. I have a couple micro scales of Hope Castle. Well, because I mean, I've I've told I've told Reed for years that Reed, you got some really great solid ideas, and they're really heartwarming, and there's a lot of great stuff, and then they kind of just they don't really go anywhere. And I don't, no, and I don't mean that, that in like that, a negative way. They just it's don't. not true though, because Scott gave me the idea, and that's why it's been changed. That's why I had the names in the clover, and then he said, "No, you need clover of hope for the ones that are still battling or have battled." And then the memorial tower. Oh, sure, you listen to Scott, but you don't listen to Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was talking micro scale, and I have all these ice bears, so it's got to be mini pigs. Scale. I just want you to succeed, Reed. I just want you I to see. flourish. I I do succeed. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, how dare you insult him? How time. how dare I? It's fine. It's You're fine. Here. How are you? But yeah, the uh, the book did get funded on Wednesday, so that was cool. So it's ha that means it's real. That means it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It was just imaginary before. Well, if it doesn't get funded, I wasn't going to do it. Figment of our imaginations. It's Pretty like much. the whole castle micro scale. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, we love you, know, Reed. That's why we're it, here. It exists. It exists. It just never got far beyond the uh, the design phase. It's still in, it's still in the design phase. And that was 2017. So we're only we're seven years in the design phase. We're good. We're good. Was that from? That was not from 2017, was it? That had to be before that. No, it says 2017. I think. Does it? Yeah, because that was the year I you talked me into coming out. Remember, it was the the one year of that uh, New England interim yeah. CEO for Lego? Yeah, yeah guy. Well, remember that guy? Because I actually have a remember. I said everybody was trying to see if they could get his fig, and I says, I says, you know what? They're crazy. And so I went, Paul. I said, Paul, can you just bring him over here? And I got a picture of him in front of Hope Castle. Yes, the one interim CEO, mm -hmm. Bali. Yes. Yes. Oh, Bali. That picture, oh. I come across that picture once in a while, too. It's around somewhere. <laughs> Did you see the, uh, 
I saw the financial stuff because it was, you know, making the making the rounds on the World Wide Web. Uh, and of course, as per usual, they made more money than the history of ever, but they had a stagnation for profit or whatever it was. So I would be fully prepared for another round of layoffs, 100%. Hmm. I mean, they laid off 2,000 people when they had a 2% drop, so don't be surprised. So read the position that LEGO is not secure. Unfortunately, you're going in different directions, Reed. <laughs> I guess so. Look at it. Look at it in all of its glory. It did win it did win best lighted mock that year. At New England? <clears throat> yeah. so you might have been the only lighted mock there. Oh, Kevin, come on. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> I entered my mind. I'm like, nah, I'll leave that alone. That's okay. I swooped in to make up the Kevin quota. Uh huh. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Kevin and Kevin. Yes, you're definitely doing that today. You're welcome. See, there we go. There, there, there you are, Kevin, right there. In all your you, glory. Should, you should, I mean, serious talk. You should sell that fig if you still have it. I got a few Kevin Hinkle figs. You should sell the extras. You don't I, need I it. sold one to, who did I sell? I sold one to somebody last year, the year before. Oh, yeah, uh, there's a lot. Some, some of them are. Um, oh, I'd buy one. I can't think of the, the guy who worked on the West Coast has a stream. Um, Shy Time. I showed one, sold one to Shy Time. Oh, really? Yeah, he wanted one last year, so I sold him one. Funny. That's hmm. funny. The the flesh tone one is actually worth like a hundred bucks or more, I think. Where do you find that on Bricklink? I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere. Dumbass. <laughs> Oh. She doesn't show the trophy. Oh, oh, oh well. It was in there. That got it. Oh, let's see here. So you guys want to play Reed and Kevin next week? Next week after. Huh? Uh, next week's the fifth. Yep. The week after that is uh, Brick World, uh, Milwaukee, and Brick Benchin up in uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. So I can't do the 12th. Larry, do you have a brick yeah, that I has the Friday Night Bricks logo printed on it? Oh, funny how you noticed that. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Is that uh, – I thought maybe <laughs> – I was like, what am I seeing? Am I imagining things? No, you're not. No, it's a figment no. of your imagination. Just like Microscale Hope Castle. Is that a wall panel with the Friday Night Bricks logo printed on it? Yes, it is. Yep. I, I've been handing them out. Yep. yep. Look at that. We got uh, pad, we got pad printing on that or UV printing? Uh, uh, Richard from uh, Brick Forge printed them. I'm still waiting them to Richard give printing. me the Yeah, it's not staying there. Just, you know, for tonight. It was, I need I need to have them finish <laughs> fix the, uh, the like Chimpalooza. <laughs> Chimpalooza bricks from last year still need to get fixed. So... Did you say Chimp Palooza? Yeah, he, 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 missed, he missed an A. He missed an A when he printed the brick. <clears throat> Somehow yeah, we Chimp Palooza is a great time. They go bananas yeah. there. Yeah, it was. It was bananas. Nice shirt. Larry. It's got on the name tag. It <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks just great. like you, Larry. It does. <laughs> well, hey, easy, easy. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, I think we're good for next week then. Kevin Reed, Alicia, said she can actually play on first Friday. And uh, who else am I missing? Do I need a... We need a... We need a... No. Oh, uh, Eric. Oh, that's right. Brick Lock. Brick Lock will play. Don't you commit me to that? <laughs> well, I well, when, when are you being committed? Uh, you're moving to you're moving to Texas. You better not get yeah, no, no. before you move there. Are these level ones, Jesse? No, it's level five. Oh, five. Okay. Kevin, uh, when and where are you moving in Texas? Uh, I'm moving the last week of June, like right after and, Chicago. Um, either Austin proper or as close as I can get. I haven't or done Austin started. So, right. if one were to be in Austin around the 4th of July weekend, 
Yeah, I should be around there. I might run into one Kevin Hinkle somewhere. I mean, we could set up a meet and greet. It's usually about 50 bucks. <laughs> a local coffee shop. No, it's uh, Larry. 50 for bucks, you. and you're paying for the meal. Oh, gosh, Larry, for, you, for you, Larry, 35. Hey, we got, we got, we, hey, you, y'all have to back up about two minutes in the hilarity because I lost my uh, speakers. Oh, for a second. That's lame. <laughs> I, I know. It was a totally lame. I'm like, everybody's laughing. I'm like, oh, I'm missing it. I made the mistake. Really I made the mistake funny. of touching this thing because it'll yeah. screw up my computer. No, yeah, I should be around. I should be around. Uh, why is that like a brick? Is that what is it called now? Brick Rodeo. Okay. <laughs> brick Rodeo, I think it is. Are they in Austin this year? Yes, they are. Oh, so maybe a bunch of people I know will be. I should be around. All right. Well, Haley will probably be down there. Mm-hmm. Nice. We just she just Kevin, showed up. Kevin, you know Sarah Silverman, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, she's she's in Denlug. Oh yeah, she, she moved. I she can't like mentally it. process when you guys move because you always just live forever in the same spot. Reed's still in Colorado to this day. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah. Dang. It's, it's probably going to be the same for me, though. Everyone will think I've been all the, all all the images he's shown us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. without the cheese hat, though, that might have been. Yeah, that was worthy to have that. That's kind of cool uh, to hear that, though, Larry. There might be some, might be some folks are around. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be there. I'll be there. No, Zizu, a completely and totally different Sarah Silverman. No, actually the same one. <laughs> yeah, I considered saying that too, but I skipped that. I'm glad we got redundancies tonight. Literally, I mean, we have a packed, we have a packed chat tonight. It's packed. It's it's it's, gone. it's like standing room only. You can fit, how many people can join a? Uh, I don't even remember panels. This is, this is not the limit. No, we're paying. We're I'm paying for ten, so we can have ten in here. Well, you got premium. Yo, Reed, making that big bucks over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not yet. Not yet. Not got, yet. That's, hey. that's the push in May. That's that's that that's that push we're doing in May. We can have 10, 10 more spots. Who else is getting in here? Come on. <laughs> Who else? Haley's, is, uh, Haley's probably got. Haley could come in. Haley could join us. Well, you guys can fill my slot because I got to get hey, easy, show. easy. <laughs> Did you say clock? Slot? You guys are Panel? spicy tonight. Uh, when are we now? Oh, wow, we got six minutes to... Yeah, I got to jump on my channel and get it ready for the d, &D play part two. Last week, we had 1,000 views. So maybe... Holy moly. moly. Wow. Maybe check That's it out. Record, people man. Um, Don't want to miss I out. To the, I listened to it on my, one of my drives later in the week. We're going to have fun. We're going to uh, finish the adventure. Uh, and then we'll play again next week with uh, four different players. And I'll try to switch it up a little bit on you guys. But, uh, nice. By then, the release, that'll be out. Yeah, thanks. It was fun. I promoted it a bit. And Is that your most watched one to date on there? Definitely. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Definitely. Hey, Guinness. Look at this. Look at that. We got a dog. Guinness. Say hi. Is, is this a dog cam? Guinness. What's up, buddy? Where's Chester? Chester needs to come down and check it out. No, he doesn't. <laughs> okay. Let him. Go to your pillow. I can't, we can print on little squirrel shirts for you, Reese. Go to your pillow. Let him. All squirts. Maybe we need, maybe we need, hey, you need to print a uh, Chester is my best friend sh uh, dog shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be perfect. Oh, yeah. No, are, I, you, I, I, are you printing, or do you need to print a new shirt? Like, I know you printed your brick badges. Yeah, yeah I do. I, I have to, I'll have to, because I have to redo the, I've got so many badge bricks and I might have to start putting some on the sleeve. But yeah, usually, well, usually what they did is I'd set it up like in a, in like an Excel or something. They had some kind of a thing. Yeah. They'd lay out the pictures. Yeah. And then they, they just print it. Yep. yep. Yeah. So we, we, um, you so know, you give us a brief of what you want and then you give us all the photos and we put together a proof for you. Do you, do you recognize you know. that logo? I recognize it. I, somebody, somebody I know did that. Yeah. And you don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. Well, I'm going to. Split. I will see those of you that I will see in five minutes. In five minutes, Chester and stream, right? End wow. stream. Yeah. End stream. Yeah. Chester is stuffed. Chester is right here. 
finally, TJ's been trying to talk the whole time. <laughs> Couldn't ever get a word out. Are you uh, are you accustomed getting accustomed to that? The jumps in conversation that go on here again, Kevin. I love it. The difficulty maintaining a single stream of conversation for a long period of time. Absolutely, hundred percent. I still can't believe I'm still processing. Reed, you had that be- like that photo was genuinely heartwarming of you hosting that birthday party with these kids and you wearing a hat. <laughs> and you're like, I'm gonna zoom in a thousand times and show you the the corner of this castle set. <laughs> like this is a beautiful picture of you engaging these kids. It's like now. Look well, the one thing set. I. There is one thing I do miss about Colorado, and that's the fact that the 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 hospital that the, the grab, they have the grab bags. No, the children's hospital is huge, and so to be able to put the castle, set the castle, yeah, in the lobby of the children's hospital was pretty awesome. So I bet you had a good thing going on with them. You were like you were doing stuff with them. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I was. You got you got to be doing stuff with whatever your local hospital is now. I have a couple times. I've done it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not like You're really kind of kind of, there, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, you guys. Well, I mean, the other thing, too, I did, too, which I have not done because I'm no longer in Colorado, is I actually did the uh, – I actually did donate this year, though. I did donate remotely to the Colorado uh, St. Baldrick's. I had the ca- I took the castle to the St. Baldrick's shave, too, for a few years, too, so – I miss the big castle. I miss it. I miss it. It's gonna have to come back. No, Agent. It's it. it, it they've been starting at eight. We're playing at eight now. So yeah. So it starts a little earlier. I mean, I still stream. I caught. I. 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 Well, because Hinkle was on with me last week, and so we went longer. Right? Was it last? Yeah, because you were by yourself, yep. and I can't. We went that. longer, and then we still went post show for a good forty five minutes. Yeah. That then, was sad. I don't like sad read. That's not my preferred read. So basically, so well, yeah, or boring <laughs> read. I guess it's boring read. It's not sad read. It's boring read. Is what yeah, I was either. on until nine last week, wasn't I? Huh? I said I was on until nine last week, wasn't I? I thought maybe, maybe it was maybe it was two weeks ago. Oh, well, Adam. So no, it was last week. I'm glad I'm so memorable. Reed. But Kevin was Kevin was well. Hinkle was in with me. <laughs> A couple weeks ago, too. I like it was last week. Because last week, two weeks ago, we went really long. Yeah. Last week, we went, we didn't go quite as long. And I was able to get in and hear the kind of the last part of the the D&D set. So, in other words, when I rewatched it, I just had to remember where I when I started watching it. And I just watched up to that point. But two weeks ago, yeah, two weeks ago, we had a very long one. And so I never got in to see the purple kill kill. I think they had ex- I think it was over by the time I finished Kevin and I. Because that two weeks ago, two weeks ago, Hinkle, remember I I kept you up later, and you were supposed to put your son to bed. Yeah, and last yep, week I let right. you I let you go fast Sounds enough. Right. Get, yep, yep. That checks out. That checks. That checks, that checks out? out. Yep, checks out. So yep. So yep. Now, now, Wagner, are you going to Milwaukee? Yes. Okay. So I'll see you down there. Oh, that's right. I got to bring that box to you. That's right. Plus, I'm supposed to meet up with – I can remember to do that tomorrow. I'm going to meet up with Stuart tomorrow to pick up whatever moon base he's not dropping off to Jordan after our Janesville Library show. So I'm taking oh, yeah, my – He's not even going. Huh? He's not even going. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't think he is because uh, he's coming back from a cruise or something. I think, he's, I, think I think it moved up – I think the Milwaukee show was moved up a week this year. And so I think when he planned for the cruise, it was something that maybe changed. Because I know Amanda was too, so I don't think there's gonna be a GBC at Milwaukee. I don't think yeah, there's anybody to work. So, um, but yeah, that's cool. Yeah, no, I gotta remember to meet up with uh, Stuart tomorrow then. Yeah. So, if I bring your box, your box is sitting somewhere. I mean, I technically could have almost taken all of his stuff, but it didn't sound like he wanted me to have all of it. So, I think uh, Jordan's gonna take some of it. I'm still pre- actually. I finally uh, Jordan posted something about my about the track, so I gotta fix that. So. But, yep. So what are you working on tonight, Kevin? You working on some uh, commissions or stuff or anything like that? Um, no, I'm working on a poster for fun. So oh. I might actually have to like maybe the band be- fun. <coughs> what? The band fun? No personal enjoyment. 
Oh. It's so this year is um, this year's the 30th anniversary of my favorite video game, which is Earthbound on the Super Nintendo. Oh yeah. So they're never played it. Yeah, and they're actually like it's a lot bigger in Japan than it, it than it is in the U.S. But like they're really leaning into it in Japan with like merchandise and logos and stuff. And so I'm kind of hopeful that the U.S. Nintendo branch will do something. But uh, it's in August, so I'm trying to make like a really cool poster for it. Maybe do like pre-orders or something. What was Earthbound like? So it's a it's an RPG. It's an RPG game, um, and it's it's set as though it's like an American boy um, who just woke up one day and has magic powers. And so it's it's very like you know the weapon. It's it's exactly like an RPG where you're equipping armor and weapons and stuff but it's it's reimagined as like little kid from the 90s in america so it's like your weapons are baseball bats and yo-yos and uh <laughs> you you collect party members and it's like you find cheeseburgers in the trash to recover health wow. um and the enemies are like the gang members in the local arcade uh, and this is or, your favorite game it's so it's just so silly it's it's bonkers and yeah, you start off a little kid in, in his hometown and then a meteorite crashes and he's like, oh, you have magic powers and you have to save the universe. And you're like, what? And then the game ends and you're like, tr and you're in a random dimension between space fighting the embodiment of evil in a robot body. <laughs> like, what happened? We started in a little town where I was in the arcade beating up gang members <laughs> and now I'm in space. But it's just, it's so silly there's so much silly dialogue and silly storytelling and it's just um it's got really memorable music and it's not a particularly hard game it was just like this is a wacky game um and there is some really heartfelt moments in it so it's uh it's one of my it's my my favorite game of all time Interesting. Cool. also um you know how in the with the never ending story Right, we're at the very end. They like the princess has to turn to like you, the viewer, right? Uh huh. Like, yep. And there's that, yeah, that's that weird but like also touching connection mm -hmm. with the they do that in Earthbound in the fight in the last battle. Oh, wow. And so they like flip it and they include you, the player, and they you didn't know that it was going to ever happen. So you've been answering these questions through your gameplay that were telling them about you. Mm. And I mean, now that I know it happens, like, but when I first played it as a kid, I'm like, how does it know all these things about me? It's like, oh, I've been answering these questions through NPCs through the course of this 40 hour game. Um, but it's a really like crazy touching moment in the last fight where they pull you, the player in and it breaks the fourth wall. And you're like, is this a game? Is this real life? What am I playing? Uh, it's really good. I really like it. So we'll see if uh, US Nintendo US does anything. They they tend to like ignore the franchise a lot, mm -hmm. which is not very out of character. They do that for a lot. Well, of so there there were there multiple Earthbounds in the US. So it's a series in Japan. It's called Mother, and it was localized to Earthbound. Mm -hmm. um, but in in Japan, there are three games: Mother, Mother Two, and Mother Three. Mm -hmm. And in the US, they. They localized and they ported over the second, the middle entry, which was turned into Earthbound. But yep. we didn't know in this, you know, in America, we didn't know there was a first game. And yeah. we certainly didn't know there was a, a sequel to it. Yep. Um, but so they eventually, just a few years ago on the Wii U, finally localized the first one. And they rechain they switched it from Mother to Earthbound Beginnings. Um, mm -hmm. But I've never played it. Uh, so they they did that, and then the third one, which is very beloved, and I've played through the third one with a fan translation, is a really good sequel to it. And they've never localized it ever, ever. And it's been out like since. Let's see, when did it come out? Another uh, three. So which one? Which one is actually thirty? Then is it the one that it's the, the it's the first one? Yeah, it's the yeah. second one that got localized. Um, Mother three. Come on, Reed. Follow the story. 
Mother <laughs> 3, Mother 3 came out in Japan in 2006 and it has not been localized. Mm-hmm. It's wild. And what's funny is even uh, Reggie, you know, the old uh, Nintendo of America president before he retired, like has gone on record to be like, I want Mother 3 localized. I think that series is great. And they're like, but you're the you're the president of America. Do something about it. Uh, but he would never elaborate on why it was not localized for the mm. North American audience. So who knows why? It's really bizarre. But this franchise is beloved in Japan. They have like pop-up shops in like the airport for the Mother series. They sell just crazy stuff like pixelated sprites on shirts and skateboards and plushes and notebooks. Yep. They live, they love everything in Japan. That's fair. They like they like everything and they love everything like to the tenth degree. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, I'm just uh, drawing a poster. So, so how how do you work? Are you working there like five days a week then at the new job then or? It's only part week? time. It's only part time. Uh, so I was told probably two to four days a week. Okay. Um, and it's not really morning because the store doesn't open until 11. Oh, okay. So it's like, I don't so it's really not even know. open full time. No. And I mean, that's how dead this mall is, is that no, like none of the stores need to they can do their own hours. Isn't that the one that we had the Lego store that they always tested everything at? No, that's oh. West Farm. That's the good oh. mall in Connecticut. <laughs> not the Enfield mall. Where's, where's the Enfield? Where's, where was the Enfield one? Oh, was that? I think it was an Enfield. It was, yeah. I was trying to remember. Where, uh, I was out there. I just can't remember exactly. Do you remember? Um, there's like one major strip in Enfield where there's like all the shops, okay, all yeah. the restaurants. It's like I mean everything. Maybe the credit union too that I I bank with out there too. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, probably we bank there's a lot of Connecticut? yeah, yeah. I wow. do because. This I was hoping I was hoping that was my career was going to be with Lego, and so as I moved around the country, I would have a central bank that I could go to. and And the other reason I haven't left it is because they were the ones that got me the van loan. Uh, Summit here because I hadn't banked with them in twenty years. Did not, so I'm glad I stayed. So otherwise, I would be driving a hunk of junk. You know, um, I have a United uh, credit card. That I would have never gotten if I hadn't, you know, like traveled the soccer so team? much. No, like when I started doing the community stuff, uh, Jim had advised me. He's like, "Look, you are about to do an insane amount of travel." Uh, he's like, "I don't know if you're. I'm not trying to push you to get a credit card, but if you're looking for a credit card, I highly recommend getting the United credit card. That's what I have. That's what I got because we can, you know, use uh, the the miles and we can use that." And, you know, as we're doing reimbursement for flights, he's like, it's worth it. It's not against the handbook or anything like that. Um, so he's like, so if you're looking to get one, I recommend it. Cause that's what Lego was partnered with United. And I was like, yeah, it makes sense. So I started a United credit card and it was actually really, really good. That first year I was like getting bonus double miles on everything. And it was racked up. Um, and then Lego switched to Delta and I was like, well, great. I have a pointless credit card now that it's tied to a brand. And then I don't work there at all. And I don't travel. I haven't used, my United card, I mean, aside from actually using it for its purpose of being a credit card, but like, there's no point in me having it anymore. And I'm like, dang it. If I hadn't worked for Lego, I would never even have this dumb card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you might, you might, you might have it, but uh, Jim kind of helped you. So how's Jim, how's Jim right. doing? Cause I mean, I know he's still out East, isn't he still? Is he in Massachusetts? Where's he uh, at? Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah, Pennsylvania. That's awesome. He's a vampire. Um, yeah, Pennsylvania. Uh, he's fine. He reaches out every now and then. Yeah, I watch it. I watch his post a little bit on Facebook here and there. So it's one, he's one of those connections. You know, I mean, it's you know, you don't get rid of your, you don't get rid of your connections unless you have unless you absolutely have to. But it's nice to have people out there that you know, yeah, you've known through the years. He was in those pictures too. The the build events. <clears throat> Back for you before you took over. Yeah. Yep. So you betcha. Are you gonna go on an Easter egg hunt, Reed? Uh, not that I am aware of. I've got uh, not even not even with like your nephews or whatever. 
uh, all my, well, my only nephew that would probably maybe be my nephews that'd be young enough for the ones down in Chicago. Uh, the, uh, one that was my sister and then one from the, the new, the, my new wife, but no, I, I don't know. All my nephews wife? are, all, no. Congratulations. <laughs> My all my all my nephews and stuff that are around here are. I you had a bunch of nephews. Well, I do. I mean, my brother's got a couple up in Fargo. Eight-hour drive just to f hunt for Easter eggs would be oh, pretty. That's a lot of fun, though. Easter eggs are pretty great. When I was growing up, uh, when I was a kid, my grandmother on my mother's side they did this big Easter egg hunt every year, and it was for the kids and adults. So it was like everybody, and I mean, these were like hundreds of eggs. Um, cause I mean, it's a big Mexican family, but they would hide lottery tickets, uh, Ooh. because that was the, like, why on earth would the adults care? And so like half the eggs had candy and the other half had lottery tickets. There was no way. I mean, you got what you got. So of course you got six year old so-and-so getting a scratcher, but <laughs> it was, it was fun. It was like, you're out there. Like my, my uncles were always like elbowing me out of the way. And I'm like, you're you're an old man. Don't push me down. <laughs> like to get their eggs and stuff. Uh, it was a, it was a lot of fun. I was thinking about that. I haven't. I never got to do it as an adult because then I grew up and I left and moved and I didn't live back in Texas again. Oh, so but I hopefully we'll be able to do that again now, right? When you yeah, I want to be. I want to be pushed down my nephews. Oh, <laughs> 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 like, I need to pass this down. Life's not fair, kid. <laughs> So that's yeah, that'll be fun. I'll get a chance to next year. I'll miss it this year, but um yeah, no, not that I'm aware of. Nothing aware of. I mean, I don't I mean uh, I actually and this. actually my my sit my sisters uh my sisters with her with her uh in laws. So um yeah, no. No, as far I, as I, don't I know why I, in my mind I had like you were always hanging out with your nephews and doing stuff. Do you? Am well, I, I mean, yeah, while they were in high school and whatnot. I mean, was so that like 10 years ago and I'm catching up now. My 25 <laughs> no, year old nephew will be over to look for Easter eggs this year. No, my niece, my niece just hit, this is her first year in college. So, I mean. Oh, so she's still at Easter egg age. Um, <laughs> as long as it's got like, you know, stuff in it that she would enjoy, you know. Dude, Jude, are you wasting a chat to say nothing? <sighs> You're not gonna get that back, dude. Dude, how do you even do that? Do you press the space bar and press enter? Yeah, I thought it wouldn't even much. do it. Saying so yeah. you're gonna have to, we have to hopefully, hopefully, maybe come end of May. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll be how he, That's, you know, maybe, maybe make it turn into like a super chat or something. Hopefully, there you go. May. That's uh, that's the average TJ comment. Blank. Wow. Yeah. That that also checks just, out. Just nothing. Well, they, they must not have said anything that really deserves oh, it. Them. says a lot when you post that, TJ. <laughs> I know this was like five minutes ago, but I'd, I'd heard of Mother 3 before. Oh, good. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. You, you want to know how? Uh, Go on. It's go on. on. It's this um, channel called Lasagna Cat that makes fun of garfield comic strips they use the music in one of their videos oh nice it's got great music all the the yeah. i think all the games have great music the three but yeah i i bought a fan basically a bootleg uh game boy game because it came out on the game boy advance um but it was a, a fan translation and they like put it onto the cartridge somehow so i bought it for five bucks I got through it. It was fine. But I was like, I would have gladly given Nintendo more money to get a real version of this, but whatever. What do I know? You still streaming on Twitch, uh, TJ? Yeah. Are you making the big bucks That's yet? Um, nope. I'm making a little bit, but, but not a lot. Yeah, they. Um, it's, uh, it's a whole thing on Twitch. It is a whole thing. Some, some interesting stuff happens there. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that dang heart of the corner. I sometimes do it so I can read all the chat. Mr. Hinkle draws. What? Oh yeah. Cause there's that, the heart on the YouTube chat. If you're actually looking at the YouTube chat, there's like oh. this little button where you can react with 
five different emojis. So he he fat fingered it. <laughs> I got you. But then sometimes you can't read the latest chat message, like one of the words. And it's annoying. Yeah. So you got your uh, you got your regulars in your chat, TJ? Yeah, I've got my regulars. Nice. We're we're you'll excuse us. We're gonna talk shop over here for a second. Um uh, that's fine. So I you're you're you just break in with a random comment in the middle of your chat. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at this castle set. Um so your affiliate. Yeah. Because that's you wouldn't be making money if you weren't. Um what are your what's uh what are your numbers usually? What's your oh, average gosh, uh, uh anywhere from ten to twenty viewers? That's Depends on good, if I get man. rated at the beginning. Because the well, there used to be he doesn't stream on Mondays anymore. But there was a guy who streamed before me in some weeks he'd rate into me and that helped nice. boost my numbers a bit. Yeah. The only reason I got affiliate is because I got raided into a few times by much bigger yeah. streamers. No, I I got I hit affiliate in under a month. Nice. Because a bunch of because I found a bunch of other people and they were like, Oh, go follow him. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. uh it's easy to take that for granted because there's a lot of artists I know that have been grinding for months and months and months and they can't get it. Uh yeah. so it definitely helps to have that network and people rating in and supporting you and it, you just need that little push over the hurdle. Yeah. Because they never take it away. You know, once you're affiliate, you're affiliate. It doesn't matter if you drop down to zero views every stream you do forever on. So good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, I've got I've got a consistent group that's there every week trolling me. Who's your favorite Twitch streamer that you watch? Uh, Mr. Nickels. I'm not even that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is this? What are we looking at? We're looking at Friday night. Remember, we were talking back. about this. We were talking about this last week. We were. Or in terms of like uh, public watch hours over yeah. the last, last year. My public watch hours is like 40. And you have no. 2,858. You were right below that bar for hitting. Yeah. Hitting. We, uh, we just got to just got to move this bar from one. You, you need your subs and you need just a, just a hair more watch. hour. you get monetized? Well, I mean, we did. We did. We I'm sure I lost some of that from the from the D&D, &D, but it was well worth it. It's not something that I lost just to lose it. It was we're getting good got good content, you know, so that's kind of thing. But I mean, it'll come back. I mean, it's just a matter of like I said, once you get the subscriber count up, that that number will go up. So that's yeah. the thing. We got people like Dude Jude Hill who watches every week. He's in here Dude, in the chat. It? Johnny G, Zizu. You get the regulars in here. We've you got good content. If we're not, if we're not putting you to sleep, you'll stick around. When Friday Night Bricks has its one year anniversary, even when we're putting you to sleep, you still stick around. Apparently, so when you when you do the one year anniversary stream, you should do an award for like perfect attendance for Dude Jude. Me on that on the six year stream is what you're trying to say. No, no, the one year anniversary coming up. Because they're all going down. When we celebrate one whole year of Friday Night Bricks again. Well, no. you know, well, just so you know, kind of, kind of down that line, Kevin. Just that's the one thing I, I have. I have to make sure I, I outlast my tenure with the Lego Company. So I have to guarantee I go seven years and three months with the show, which will be about three hundred and sixty-five episodes. Long, which would be about a year. So how yeah. long has it been since you worked for Lego? So this is just all a personal vendetta. 20, I, I, I would like go at the end of twenty sixteen. And you were like, go at the end of 2017, right? Yeah, that wasn't. I thought that was. I thought there was much more time between our two partings. No, it was. It was pretty close. And then, I mean, and then we and I started the show in 18. So it I'm was all a conspiracy. Point. You pulled all the grenade pins when you went down. Oh, I damn it. it! I didn't realize I did that, but maybe I did. Lego streaming to fall asleep too. Well, I could put music on. Would you guys like some music? We're talking, so you should be listening to what we're saying. It's not like we're... Yeah, we should have live. Yeah, listen to what we're saying already. Jeez. Did you yeah. find your favorite streamer, TJ? No, I can't pick a favorite. Oh, sure you can. I, I just can't. I'll let him know. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine. 
We'll just be like, we're gonna go raid this. This is we're gonna go raid this channel, and we're done today because this is my friend's favorite channel. So we're gonna. Oh, you're that guy. Yeah, that the, TJ was telling me about. Of the people who I watch on a consistent basis, in that kind of circle, I don't think any of them are live at the moment. I, so I have like a circle that I always try and watch, and then I have a circle that I like lurk on. We love the lurkers. Yeah. There's a lot of people in the lurking circle. Did you see this? Like blew my mind. Um, do you remember Vision Bricks? He doesn't do yeah. Lego stuff anymore. He does action figure stuff now, and so now he's the geek effect. He just hit twenty thousand YouTube subscribers. Nice. I was like, what? Didn't you just start? <laughs> I mean, he's got great stuff. It's excellent quality stuff. It's just insanely um, fast. Like, wow. Um, well, we, 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 there has been a few of us that have fallen asleep on stream. So, I mean, that, you know, that does happen. A few of us, you mean you? A few of us. A few of us. There's a few others that have done it too. Is this the, uh, people have been saying? What people? <laughs> Who have been people? saying? The people? people have been saying. The rumor mill, the rumor mill. Every place has to have a rumor mill. Not every place. Yeah, it usually helps. <laughs> How's Mama Castle? Uh, she's good. She's upstairs. Uh, any ice cream today? Uh, no, I, well, she's got it upstairs, so she won't be walking by to ask. So if she has it, I mean, I can't, I can't believe there's much left. She's been having a fair amount of it. So, uh, what's her, what's her go-to ice cream flavor? Whatever she buys when, uh, she's out. My sister went the last time and they, so. Are you saying it's different each time? It's not the same one? No, no. It changes every time? Yeah, I can yeah. Interesting. That's I you don't change up ice cream flavors, Kevin. I bought I bought pizza tonight. I was thinking of ice cream the other day, but I, I feel didn't. like some flavored ice cream. I feel like maybe I'm a, a different type of ice cream enjoyer. I feel like when you buy ice cream for home, right? When you go get like the tub or whatever, you have your flavor, and that's what you just get every time. I love. And you, I, don't, I, and I, you I, don't. You don't try other flavors unless you're out, like, I don't know, at a dinner. No, but, there's like six to ten flavors I would get. You like cycle through? I, what I want to get that time. That's fascinating. Okay. Well, All right. the, All right. the issue, too, is like with, I mean, when I first moved back here, there wasn't room for a tub of ice cream in this free freezer. There is now, but there wasn't. So I'd be get like, <clears throat> whatever. I Because I shop, because I work in grocery stores, I buy what's on sale. So. I'll pick the flavors I like from the certain whatever brands are on sale. Um, yeah. You know, I'm a bargain shopper. That's what Mama Castle taught me how to do when I was younger. So, are you? Do you clip, are you a coupon clipper? No, I don't coupon. So, and exactly. actually, now that yeah. now that Pick and Save has the digital coupons, I haven't quite done that yet. I mean, I'm I'm some, so. mm -hmm. let's not be ridiculous, Kevin. See, my wife will always get would be happy getting the same thing every time. I would yeah. not. I think that's really interesting. Yeah, I, I, New York vanilla is probably my favorite flavor, but I haven't. Yeah, what's your favorite? Yeah, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? New York vanilla. What does that mean? It's just it's a it's a flavor of the vanilla. New York vanilla is your favorite ice cream flavor? No, probably. Well, no, you just said it. Now you're taking it back because of the way I'm referring to it. But what's it? What is it? The difference it's, between it's, like it's a, a, I think it's a thicker. It's a. It's the plain vanilla. It's, it's not a, French it's, vanilla. It's New York vanilla. I never heard it called New York vanilla. Well, there's a vanilla. There's New York vanilla, French vanilla, there's slow churn vanilla. There's a bunch of different ones out there. I think New York vanilla and vanilla are generally the same thing. Gotcha. No, New York vanilla is definitely different than standard yes, vanilla. Yes, it's exactly the same. So mm -hmm. it's different from French vanilla, but it's the plain vanilla. I I like usually either vanilla or like coffee. Oh, you're almost as bad as Reed then. But what I my favorite type of ice cream is is vanilla with Reese's mixed in it. Oh, like okay. a like a, a Dairy Queen Blizzard. Like that's the bet. That Make is the die. 
There is a nice blueberry cheesecake one that I have found recently. <laughs> Big on chump makeup. <laughs> I got a tub once of vanilla with like Reese's cups mixed in it. And I was like, this is too much. I don't know. I was like, eh, I don't need a tub of this. I, I don't need to face my decisions this often this week. Sure you I do. I just want to have the one drink. From oh, Jake he, he just, on. so in other words, Kevin needs me to send him more, some more of that, his favorite popcorn is what he's saying. Don't do it. The Girl Scouts already hit me up. All right. <laughs> I, oh yeah, but but then you have to pay for that. The, the stuff I sell, send you don't have to pay for it. It's Reed, just, I bought two boxes of Girl Scout cookies and I ate one on the drive home. Who hasn't done that? The whole box. Yes, yeah, I've done, done, done a whole box. I didn't even get home. <laughs> it was a fifty. It's like cheese box. curds. I can eat a whole bag. Like I probably on the drive from like you know on the drives to some of the shows like Chicago, I could probably eat a whole bag of cheese curds. So. Oh, Dad, you got Girl Scout cookies as they lift the empty box out of the seat next to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, yeah. why you get multiple, Kevin. I, I got two and I saved one. Okay, good. All right, then you you <laughs> did it right. I meant to bring both home. <laughs> well, yeah, you did. It's just the cookies were in a different location then. I can't believe the serving size is too. Never large. heard of New York vanilla. Well, I mean, it it exists. It's 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 you know, Wait, it's it's harder to find. It's not in every store. It is something that you do have to hunt for. It's not in every store. It's if you're in New York, it's just called vanillas issue. I'm gonna smack this guy. <laughs> the, the sigh. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in timeout. What He's is gonna... wrong with saying that, Reed? It's like if you're in France, I, French vanilla might be just vanilla, right? Yeah, that that checks out. Are you are you trying to think I'm insulting you by saying that? I don't Not think that's true, though. You, Reed, just I don't think it's true. Though, of the right? Not everything's about you. <laughs> um, Reed, what's your favorite cereal? Oh, uh, cereal? Yeah. Um, well, I don't really have one, but I'd say maybe lately, probably like uh, the blueberry checks is pretty good. I'm a blueberry fan, what can I say? Kevin, what is your favorite cereal? Uh, you look for it. So look for something. Like the, what is, what is it called? The uh, Special K with strawberries. Mm -hmm. That's a very or good choice. The, uh, the one with nuts and oats and stuff honey, uh, honey bunches of oats. yeah yep. that's a, my favorite cereal is honey bunches of oats with strawberries i like it with yogurt tj yeah. what about you currently it's cinnamon life cereal mm, i'll do cinnamon yogurt. life once in a while i oh, like yeah. i like corn checks like there's definitely some plain ones and then some more flavorful ones I don't. Life. I don't need cereal every day. I've taken to eating toast a lot more, to be honest. Mm. Oh, you're a toast monger. All right. Lately, I don't know if they really call a while back when I was <laughs> when I was eating cereal more often. <laughs> I, what do you put on your I toast? I started getting sick. What do you put on your so toast? Oh, I just uh -huh. uh, I stopped eating cereal. But you just usually just butter. It? Ooh, just butter, butter toast. Okay. Yeah. 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 Or I'll do. I kind of alternate between toast and waffles, to be honest. Wow, that's Maybe quite a do. swing. Yeah. I'm going to go well, with a little I'll slightly alternate. savory treat or soaked in syrup. Guys, this is the content you know you need. I Friday was just thinking Ritz. about uh, this how we're it. diverging from the normal. This is great, well, though. I'm all in. I don't I'm, completely I'm soak locked. my waffles in syrup. I'm not my sister. Well, then why are you eating them? What's the point? Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, so, Reed, what is your normal go-to breakfast? Is it cereal or is it something else? It's cheese popcorn. Probably, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get something like that, I'm probably gonna go and stop at like Quick Trip and just get a sandwich. You know, get like every a, morning a for breakfast. No, I don't eat breakfast every morning. Oh, you're one of those not eat breakfast guys. I don't usually. Eat I get up, I jump in the shower, and I jump in the car, and I go to work, and jump in the truck, and you jump a lot in the morning. See, my my dad, when I was a kid, he never, ever, ever, ever ate breakfast. Like, I don't, not once in my life. And I'm like, I can't do that. Like, I wake up hungry every yeah. day. Every day, I wake up hungry. No, I, I had a friend in high school who would skip breakfast all the time, and I was thinking, how can you? Do how do they that? do that? How do they do it? To you? How do you survive? Uh, usually, I'm if if I had breakfast, I'd miss the bus. And then I'd have parents that'd be mm -hmm. mad at me. So usually, when, I'd, so I'd what time are you having your first meal of the day? Me. Yeah, you 12 o'clock. 
First meal or snack? Uh, you know, meal would be probably. <laughs> Why is your snack a small breakfast like meal that you have at breakfast time? <laughs> um, probably first meal would probably be lunchtime somewhere in there. Reed, I would have lost it if you're like, well, I have a snack and it's eggs and bacon and I have it every, every No, day. I mean, I have a breakfast at 10 o'clock. I mean, there are the mornings I do go to the one, the one grocery store and I do sometimes have the bacon. I just haven't had it lately because they make a good bacon. If I get the crunchy stuff, but I don't know. It's yeah. not always. So you just buy straight up bacon? Yep. Straight I, love bacon. I love it. Uh, Fresh Market downtown. Bacon uh, R Us. No, they'll, they have eggs and uh, sausage, stuff like that, but I'll just have the just the bacon. No, I'll just take the bacon. You can so hold, the, just... hold the bun or hold the uh, roll and the eggs and the cheese and the butter, but keep the, like, but double the bacon. 86 everything. Um. Do you just like what? Are they, what are they? Okay, <laughs> are they just strips of bacon in like a fry holder? Just yeah, just in a, in a dump pan. It's it's like a buffet kind of thing at the at the at the, at the market. It's like going to the Chinese buffet and just getting all their crab legs. Oh, okay. Now I, I understand. Now I relate. This is uh, Bricklock is here. Oh. Bricklock still he's still waiting for his grasslands to ship. Right. Oh, oh, send him an email. It should have shipped by now. It should have shipped by now. Uh, don't be afraid to hit him up and be like, hey, what's up? What's going on with this? Shouldn't take them that long. They have them. They don't like, they're not somewhere else. Like, they have the books. When I do waffles, I also have bacon. Do you make your time. waffles from scratch or do you have like the frozen waffles? No, I have the frozen ones. Do you make ones. your bacon from scratch? <laughs> do you do you harvest your own bacon? <laughs> but um, on the days that I don't have waffles and bacon, I put bacon on my sandwiches that I have for lunch. How many sandwiches do you have for lunch? <laughs> One. <laughs> oh, okay. But I have I have a sandwich every day except either Saturday or Sunday. Now, is it a is it a a bacon? accepting sandwich or is it like peanut butter and jelly with bacon ew it's <laughs> the normal sandwich is ham cheese lettuce and mustard with bacon huh so it's like a club sandwich some days some days it has bacon some days i don't know i mean this is this is starting to get close to like what hoosier streams are like when i start talking then, weird sandwiches. those are the best the, the best lego streams that's another are, honestly, weird sandwich. the ones that have nothing to do with lego i've been those having that sandwich ones. for years You've been uh, eating you're a one of single two. sandwich for years. It's just a really big sandwich. sandwich. He just takes a couple bites each day. That that type of sandwich. Hey, I have, I, have a, I have the and same. And then I have carrots and cookies as a side. Carrots and cookies? Are you 10? Yeah. <laughs> That's just carrots the meal. Good for you. What are you talking about? Yeah. I don't Some know why carrots. I imagine the I've little tray. I've got to defend carrots here. The little tray with like the. And then I do, and I do two cookies. I'm, pr you know what? I'm proud of you, TJ. That's a very balanced meal. I gotta have a balanced meal. You're, you're a growing oh. boy. My, you my, my balance. My, and my snack. My snack won't be very balanced. I guess. Look, if, uh, yeah, don't yeah, be like probably a, your snack I is probably, a frozen pizza from Quick Trip. I have probably adapted this meal from my school lunches as a as a child. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right, man. You're, you're I, no. We had we had DiGiorno tonight. I, I, I aired. I aired. Oh, was it delivery? No, it was DiGiorno. But you know what's funny is I did take a picture because it was the one that Hinkle will love the most. Yeah. It had the it what had the this? nice had the ham and pineapple. Ah, oh, gross. Oh, gross. nice. That's a good. That's a good mix. Gross. <laughs> I knew that'd make Kevin. I knew that'd make Kevin so happy. What do you think about yeah, what do you think about broccoli on pizza? Yeah. What do I think about broccoli in general? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kevin. <laughs> broccoli haters. That's... Broccoli's good. Cauliflower is much more palatable than broccoli. No, I like broccoli better than cauliflower. Oh, hey, Hoosiers here. Hey, hey. Ooh. Hey, Hoosier, you can jump in. You probably got an invite, too, somewhere floating around. Come on, jump in. Bobby, Join Bobby, the party. Yeah. We're talking food. Talking food. You can come tell us your favorite sandwiches you've been forced to eat due to Super Chats. So we can prepare. I can prepare some of my uh, co-hosts for the future. Reed, you got to be doing 
for your push for monetization, you got to be doing bits on stream, man. People will start forking up money if we are like, Reed will do this. If Reed will eat a sandwich that's made out of mayonnaise and peanut butter, if we get a $5 super chat, I would pay right now. Unfortunately, that's what we're oh, that's what we're pushing to get is the super chats. That's the first level is the super chats. I think. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Make the um, make the YouTube sub goal. How about yeah, sub goal and be like, if you hit this many subs, Reed will completely. Sh- uh, I don't know. Shave your eyebrows off. Um, it, it'll be fine. You're fine. It's entertaining. Think of the views. I think. It, oh yeah, sub goals work. Care for every certain number of viewers you get. Oh, like melt it. Yep. Like actually melt it. Yep. Dude, that'll get views though. Melt what? You should sacrifice an ice bear for every 10 subscribers you get. Uh, 10 is a little low to sacrifice an ice bear. All right, 11. Uh, <laughs> you, you providing the ice bear? Bargain, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bad Wagner bad providing bad. the ice bear, so that, I guess that's fine. Yeah. You must have a secret stash somewhere he didn't tell me about. The, uh, the challenges do work. I've, um, Oh yeah, I've done a fifty chicken nuggets challenge. People love a train wreck. Eat that on one stream. <laughs> Another time, I did a Taco Bell challenge. Eat twelve tacos on one stream. Yeah, what's something you hate? Uh, what's like a food item that you hate, Reed? Uh, or just a large volume of food. Either one. Mean, Brussels sprouts. Uh, oh, Brussels sprouts are so good if they're done what, right. What about they are? I agree. What about anchovies? I have no idea. Probably Ugh, not. Too salty. Yeah, yeah eat. Ugh. Yeah, but we have to make you eat anchovies for every See, 20 you got it all wrong, Kevin. He's supposed to pretend he doesn't like something that he doesn't have a problem with. Then he can just act like he doesn't like it. Although, I don't know if you'd be the best actor for that, Reed. So you probably have probably, to do something. Probably, probably like, like over-the-top acting. How about, how about this? Once we hit 200 subs, Reed will eat Brussels sprouts on stream. <laughs> Yeah, these these things will work, Reed. These will get views. If it's it it it's all about making the streamer suffer, right, TJ? That's what it's all about. Yeah, the exactly. Suffer. The viewers want to see the streamer suffer. <laughs> when the streamer suffers, the viewers enjoy it, and that's how you get. I more mean, support. we're talking eating gross foods, shaving eyebrows, melting melting the bears is the that is like high. Well, like that's you're done. Your sub goals hit. Reed will melt a, one of his ch- prized ice bears for every 20, 25 subs or whatever. At that point, I might as well just melt it in the poly bag and just waste all the other parts too. No, you no, know. you've got to actually yeah. melt the ice bear. It's a big, yeah, make it a big yeah. thing. Do you like really a Viking gotta... funeral each time. Yep. <laughs> it's not like you just put it in an ashtray and light it on fire and it's back in the background as you keep talking <laughs> about your uh, former work at the Lego store. This is gold, though. This is gold. Uh, for for my next food challenge, I'm thinking of uh, buying two Baconators from Wendy's, oh, taking the patties from one wow. and putting them in the other <laughs> to make a quadruple Baconator to eat on stream. If Wendy's comes back with that, was it Wendy's or KFC that had a chicken sandwich that had two chicken breasts for the instead of buns oh i tried that and it was awful, awful so did i yeah. awful, it was awful awful, awful. Oh. awful good <laughs> 10 pounds of brussels no we gotta we gotta do this in waves we can't just go all out no we can't this is not something pounds. that just happens like on a whim yeah you have to plan it and advertise it and market it so exactly no you can't just go oh, sp- spontaneously exactly. tonight we're gonna do this ch- no that's not how Once- once we hit X amount of subs, that's a goal. Then we got to reach the next amount of subs. Reed, would you so shave so all forth. your facial hair off? Well, I'm kind of getting used to it. I know. I I know. To. It's got to be a little uncomfortable. My bearing just won't look like a barbarian anymore. I have, Somehow I have a feeling. Uh, Reed, would... it's not you actually as the character in D&D. You're imagining it. It's not actually you, Reed. No, it is me. It is me. No, it's not. It is. It is. You're, you're I feel mistaken. Like in a perfect world, it would be a, a 
joint effort between you and Jesse and Larry and Wagner, but I think you're probably the only person that would be up for doing anything like this, Reed. So you'll have to fall <laughs> on the sword for the group, but it'll be great. It'll be wonderful. Tag team. They just won't know who who is the one I'm gonna tag, so they have to all be prepared. You could get. Could would your mother be game to hit you in the face with a pie? <laughs> oh yes, that would work. Read. Um, that will not happen I, I, down here. Read. Right? How how many hundreds of subs do you want? <laughs> Mama Castle I, on on camera with a pie and just right right there as you sit in that chair, wonk right in the face. See, I think you just need to invest in a pie catapult. That's what you need. Hi, <laughs> hi. He probably would have a heart oh, yeah. attack in this chair. Who's your pay to see it? Put down, put down a, uh, put down a sh like a a towel or whatever on the floor. Or like a maybe yeah. like a sheet over everything behind yeah, me. Put down a small yeah. two foot by three foot towel. That'll cover everything. <laughs> put a hand towel from the drawer. No, you know what I mean. Shut up. <laughs> put one of those like uh, when you're. Thanks, Kevin. Playing. Thanks, Mr. Wagner. You're the man. I like yeah, that. Thank you. Get a small square napkin that's about six inches. All right, I think we're good. Uh, oh man. Remember when Nick. And Nick and his son, and he like had his son autograph his like bare ass. I don't think I remember that. Do you remember he did that on the seventy-two hour stream? He mm. wore a speedo. You remember this, TJ? You remember this? Remember what? <laughs> During the uh, seventy-two Hoosier remembers this. During the seventy-two hour stream, years and years and years ago, the Brickhead family. Nick, like they were all like great, like they had fireworks and shenanigans on their stream, and he's oh, like, "Gosh, we I get... do remember this." Yeah, you do. See, and then he's like, "If we hit whatever goal, I'm gonna let my son autograph my butt cheeks." And he like came on screen with the speedo, and like bent over, and his son had to sign his his butt on the camera. It was great. Oh, bricks for Chris did like a super chat. That's what triggered that. It was a whole thing. It was a whole shenanigan. Oh, can you have a single shenanigan? I don't know that you can. A, a shenan? I think it, it's I know it's we've done, plural. <clears throat> we've done some sweet ones on Hoosiers, Hoosiers streams. I know that. Look, Dude Jude remembers. I was going to say I'm sure Dude Jude remembers. You In the beginning. A memory like a steel trap. In the beginning, there was it's only all Dude flavored it. with orange tang. The horrible commercials from the 90s. The monkeys. Reed, you better be... Okay, back to my clear castle debate. You better be taking notes and implementing. As you can see, he's taking lots of notes and he's pointing everything out. Copious amounts of notes. We will readdress this in two weeks and we'll start executing. <laughs> you don't know. That maybe that's going to happen, and only the sub goals will prevent it from happening. You're going to see this no matter what. Oh, oh, reverse psychology, huh? Oh, maybe. <laughs> be like if you get up to 300 subs, you'll tattoo the Friday Night Bricks logo on your chest. I'm not sure why dude, it's all riled up. Yo, relax, dude. Apparently, all caps, my my man. All caps. Yeah, I must have I must have said something to set him off. I didn't that's, think I did, but that's a little aggressive. Whatever. I maybe know. he views steel trap as something else. Can we all take a chill? Pill, pill, chill pill. Oh, uh, thank oh, uh, thank goodness, Reed added that. I didn't know what he was talking about <laughs> until you said that. <laughs> Save oh. the day again. I miss our time together. <laughs> it was our time. Our time. <laughs> I saw Star You're Wars here. was, uh, I don't have Disney Plus anymore, but I saw that they were advertising that Asajj Ventress is in Bad Batch, I guess, now. It, oh, I've yeah. watched every episode other yeah, than is. this week's, and she must show up in this week's because this is a, like the fourth time I've seen it mentioned because I'm a whopping two days behind on the episode. Yeah, uh, I mean, I haven't watched any, but it's been like they themselves have posted it all over social media, like the they? Star Wars yeah. accounts. Yeah, they spoiled Maybe. it almost immediately. But yeah, Mark Hamill spoiled him being in the that Mando finale. 
I never. I was. I don't think he did. That was for me. He I spoiled it for me. For you. When um, did you watch it though? I wasn't. I was like three days late. But it's. Um, I wasn't immediate. It was like about three days after the episode aired. He him on Twitter. He was like, "I want to thank everyone for keeping my appearance in the finale a secret." I'm like, "God, no!" Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was. Like, dang it. That's the best. <laughs> Uh, cameo I might have ever seen any. I I really wish I would have experienced that, not knowing it. Mm-hmm. It was fantastic, and it was so out, like out of left field. Yeah, you wouldn't expect him. Nope. See, and I just, wish. Uh, it's the final return and redemption, and it's it was unbelievable. I was three days late. Mark Hamill spoiled it for me. What's funny is that I unfollowed him out of protest. <laughs> I was like, you're cool and I like you, but I'm going to unfollow you. How dare you? So, Reed, you going to do any of this stuff or no? I, I took mental notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I am sure all of you will remind me of everything you had said and everything you suggested. I'm, I'm just saying. I think it would be a good uh, idea. Every week. Kevin, you can lead a horse to water. Yep, that's true. Can't make him drink. Oh, Reed, stop being a horse. <laughs> well, nay, nay. If Reed doesn't use these goals, I will. There you, there you go. I was about to say, TJ, you snipe those, man. Yeah. You will both do them and then, you know. Like me, I'll as I was talking about it, me having to eat an anchovy would be disgusting. Like mm-hmm. out of the 10, ugh. Ugh. So I know if I had that as a goal, people would absolutely throw money at that. <laughs> like, please don't make me do that. That's disgusting. Yeah. You, you guys ever seen those bean boozled? Yeah, you could do the most oh. oh. Yeah, and there's uh, there's this drop game on Twitch that you can play. And if you score certain amounts, there's several streamers that I watch that yeah. will eat. Well, at least one that will eat the bean boozled. And then if you score a different score, he'll yeah. eat a hot bean. There's a bunch of artists I follow yeah. that when they do the drop game, if you can get at like a 90% or better, they will draw something for you on the stream. Like they'll stop right then and there and they'll draw a, a fan thing for you, uh, which is kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, t- people do different things with the drop game, but yeah, the bean one's the one that I've seen. That's Would you eat worst. some beans, Reed? I probably could do that. Get some bean, but bo- this is probably the lowest, the absolute lowest barrier to entry here for your read. Go get some bean boozles. It's just a product on the shelf somewhere. You can probably get it on Amazon. And they're all either really what? Normal- I've had them. Oh, see? Yeah. And then there you go. And then you'd be like, for every 10 subs, I don't know, every five subs, I'll eat one of these live on the big screen. Read cam. The special read cam. Think of the views, man. Yeah, no good the, views. Think of the content. Maybe you could ship. I mean, these, we're just talking jelly beans. You can ship a little container of these to Jesse and Larry and Wagner and be like, we're all going to have one of these jelly beans. And it's either going to be great or awful every 10 subs we get. They, I like they that, would, they I'm gonna I'm it. gonna tweak that idea a little bit. He wants I think other people to do it. He doesn't want to do it himself. So, or, or better yet, bring the beans to Brick World. Ooh, you can do that. Mukbang heaven. You want to do a mukbang read? Oh boy. <laughs> I think that's gross. I don't think I know what that is. You're better off. Reed will do whatever he can to promote the stream as long as it means he just does the same thing he's doing every week. <laughs> and no change at all. <laughs> I am very, I am uh, committed to promoting this in every way other than new. What? I'll continue the same stuff I've always done. What is that sandwich combo? Ew, I'd rather eat the beans. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, sounds interesting. 
I would, so on a personal, as a Friday Night Bricks fan, as a uh, viewer, I would say I would be the most excited watching your mother pie you. <laughs> that would be, I would absolutely help the cause. Not yeah. even knowing when it it's would. coming. I'm going to make sure that night I hope I'm not building with white. It'll be a blueberry pie. I'll be building with white bricks. How, how That would be cool. You're going to pick the worst pie. Like, how <laughs> Be just pie. like, hmm, okay. Uh, my bricks you are now stained purple. Pie. Why do you pick the worst pie? I'm gonna get my mother to hit me in the face with a cream. Uh, oh man, cheesecake. <laughs> no. Good work, Reed. yeah. Change nothing. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, right. it doesn't help the subscriber counts go up. Unfortunately, it does not. changing nothing, doing the same thing over and over again, and expecting a the different definition result. of insanity. Look at that, folks. I guess, I guess, uh, it, this this stream is driving Mr. Wagner a little crazy. I guess why. No, I said doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different uh, th something to change is the definition, definition of insanity. Yep. Yes. It's one of my favorite quotes. All these parts to sort. Oh, Charlie. Uh, you know. Just sell it all. Uh, not parts, only sets. Only sets. Wow. Parts do not get sold. I actually just did, what is it? <clears throat> three pick brick orders. Actually, no. Uh, three brick link orders and a uh, friends of Facebook uh, pick a brick order today. So what? You're not building anything. I am. I'm working on my, I'm working on my, on my. What? I'm, work, I'm working on my new construction. You didn't see that earlier? No. no. Oh, my God. I thought you've just been taking stuff apart for months. Well, I have, but I but I build in storage because that's where everything's at. This is, you know, this is. Is it still cold out there? Uh, I actually just well now that Walmart's putting all their heaters on sale, I actually picked up another heater. So, so that means it's not cold out there. It's it's still cold, <laughs> it's, but it's not super cold. It's it's a little warmer. I've got one heater blowing on the build area. So let's see. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's see. I just showed these earlier, but here I'll show it again. The, the, the Sub count doesn't matter. We have Wagner and his positivity. <laughs> That's right. I'm positive that'll work. So I'm switching. I'm I have like a roller disco right now that I had in Chicago last year. So I'm making it bigger here for the central section. Um, a roller this disco. I didn't know that at all. Yeah, I had. Yeah, it's it. <clears throat> that's that's because it looks like a bunch of clear bricks. No. And then so basically what's happening at Chicago is whatever I build has to be support whatever's above it. This will be a low table and there'll be a high table at the back. And so then there'll be base plates on top of whatever I build. So I'm building towers. So you do you not do the castle anymore? I do, am, but am I, I that do. out of the loop? Yeah, where have no. you been? No, the castles the well the castle. I was gonna do something different for the castle, but I'm still working on everything. Ice gate for a while now, Kevin. So, I, I mean, I, the castle failed. The castle is getting its like well. Well, the problem was is too is I forgot there were other shows coming up, and so the castle will make its last appearance at Milwaukee. That'll give me still, you know, about six weeks to demolish it and start over. Um, but the goal was I was gonna maybe try to build something of a more solid nature this time instead of just the. The drop in sections like I've always done. So, so are you? So you're going to rebuild it, or are you done with it? No, rebuild it. It'll always get rebuilt. It's just, I mean, right now I'm working on some other stuff because the, even if I build the cat, I guess I could have built the castle and it could have supported everything. But I mean, it wouldn't have been as exciting as what I'm working on. The goal is the the I, work, I mean, generally we build kind of towards you know, even though you know. I've, obviously it's never been good enough, but we always build towards theme incorporation is kind of what we're doing every year. It's like building to building bridges of paradise Island building. Um, uh, last year we kind of hit, did a couple things and the disco made it last year. Cause it was the, it was the roaring roller disco. Um, we took cross off roller or whatever. And yeah. Roared. You just kind of missed that twenties part of it. Um, 
Well, roaring, roaring is part of you know, so mm -hmm. that's part of it. Part like of the Star wars. wars. We had wars. We just missed that star part. It's okay, I mean, you know. You know, I was thinking humor. I mean, the, what's humor was one what the year before. So I very yeah, tried some humor. Um, didn't work. Uh, um, but basically, what, wait, so what is this are you talking about trying to win the award? Well, no, I just well, no. Yes, the theme yeah. incorporation yeah. award. Win oh, or nomination, whatever. It's it not about that, Reed. It's about the journey. But we, but we have fun. So I mean, the problem is this year. The problem right now this year is Ralph isn't coming now, so I don't have Ralph, and he was going to be at least half of the top. Haven't heard from Chop in months. I don't know. I know he's freaking out about his move that's coming up next month. So I don't know if he's coming. And so right now I've got two eight-foot tables reserved. And as of right now, I am the only one that's guaranteed on it. Now, granted, I you am kind of hold two eight-foot tables, Reed. Are you kidding me? Uh, not if I demol demolish it all. I can't. Well, yeah. If I destroyed all my builds, I wouldn't be able to fill any tables. So, but so. Now, I was talking to Michael Frederick, and he was going to do something, and I figured I was trying to see if he wanted to just take the top of all of both eight-foot tables, but he might be thinking he's going bigger than that, and so I don't know. But um, I don't know. So, yeah, so I'm building building what I was slated to build. Actually, I'm not. I, I, I've changed it a little bit. So the disco, or disco make would be one. Mind. I can't. Can't make up my mind. Is um is chopped okay? Like you're disagreeing with yourself every five seconds. Um, I don't. We don't know. Nobody's heard from him for a while. So don't, don't you know. live near him, right? Or no? no? Chops like no. Wagner lives. Wagner lives close. I live like two and a half hours away. Oh, so. I live in his vicinity, but I was yeah. gonna say, sir. If, if like no one's heard from him in months, like drop in, make sure he's alive. No, I I've got an email or two from him. Okay, he's alive. Can't confirm. Person is alive. I've seen a post on social media. That's about it. So I haven't other than that. But that was like a couple weeks ago. So, but he hasn't responded for like the the collaboration. That's well. You know, then I would I would suspect that at this point, and he's just not participating. Maybe. I would assume he's going to bring everything and just go full steam ahead. Because he was re in the process of rebuilding, also. So, I don't know, so, because we're both doing something different than what we normally do. So that's. Yeah. And I'm proud of you for doing that. I mean, the castle still exists. It just was going to be something different. Well, Memorial Tower maybe would probably make it no matter what. It's just would I? What else would I have? That's the key. TJ, what's going on in your life these days? Oh, uh, not much. School? Nope. You're done with that? Yep. At least for now. Did you graduate? Yeah, you did, right? Yeah, I graduated. What did you get? Hmm? What did you get? What was your degree? Oh, uh, psychology. Bachelor's? With mine. Master's? bachelor's yeah yeah so you're just sitting back oh. watching all this and you're like oh my oh my oh no yeah. <laughs> you're like taking notes oh no those are the best psychologists this is the ones that take notes and Listen here's my bill Are you going into your field? Now that now that would be fun. Actually, you're right. That would be wild. And I guess you're right. That could be possible too. You're right. Oh yeah. That's yeah, exactly there'd be some slight issues with chop going on Lego Masters. <laughs> so TJ, you're trying to get a job in your field? Yeah, I've been dealing with some other personal stuff at the moment. Ah, personal but, things. Love yeah. it. Yeah, some health stuff too. It's no fun. That's no good. Yeah. No good. Sorry. Yeah, yeah hopefully like soon. It. Are you working at all right now or no? No, not currently.
the uh, the plan was to start doing some job search and start ramping that up in April. Yeah. But uh, like a month ago, I got hit with a terrible headache that wouldn't go away. That sounds uh, terrifying. Yeah, it wasn't fun. Like it's a migraine? Still, it's like a never-ending migraine? Quite. Not quite, but not quite as intense as a migraine, but just a lot of a lot of pressure in the head. Did you figure it out? Well, it's starting to go away, so that's good. There, there is something. Good news, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Also had um also been having some neck pain, but that's starting you, to go away too because can I'm you going focus to focus on one pain at a time, please. Yeah, really. yeah I know. <laughs> I would I would like my body to focus on one pain. Yeah. At a time. Yeah. Well, that's rough, man. I hope that all sorts itself out. Yeah. I'm, all right. I'm I got to go put my kids to bed. Night, Mr. Wagner. It has yeah. been a delight. Maybe back, I may not. Indeed, quite the delight. If if you were told Reed's mother were going to hit him in the face with a pie, you'd be back. Eh, probably. <laughs> Maybe. I'm leaning towards yes, but I'm not ready to commit. <laughs> Correct. That's exactly right. <laughs> Right, sure. I was trying to prove a point. I'm waiting, I'm waiting to hear what the monitor. I'm not just going to agree with you to prove your points, Kevin. I'm sorry. Dang. So it's not the way I roll. <sighs> Respect. Throw that email, emo it out there again, Kevin, before he leaves. What? <laughs> the face, looking down, disgruntled. What emote? Oh, you don't remember that show? That show's already a distant memory. Dang. Hey, what emote? Terrible. Oh, the big, the red, the red face. Yeah, the night that you, that Kevin was like, oh, these are the perfect emotes for Wagner. They were. They were perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen those for a couple of weeks now. I'm slacking. All right. Yeah. Well, They've been out long. Have a good night, all. Good night. Bye. Bye. Nice. Okay, all in chat. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Good luck finding eggs with your uh, 25-year-old nephews and nieces, Reed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good night, DJ. Good night. Remember to smash that like button and hit that notification bell. Yeah. And subscribe. Yeah, if you want to be like everybody else. Follow. Actually, you know what, Zizu? I'd probably watch Lego Masters if Chop was on it. Well, the thing is, well, though, it helps, you, it helps if you have people on there that you know. I mean, I, I, I you know, yeah. I mean, I mean, or you've met. I mean, like I've met, I met like you know some of the people from the other series, but even like the last one, I think I only had met one, and it was through this, the one Tim I've met through here, and that was it. I mean, other than that, I mean, you know anybody last season, and even the one season. It was last one, the one before with the ones from Wisconsin. I had never met them either. So the only ones I'd met, and Caleb and Jacob, when they were from Wisconsin, those people too, I didn't know them before that either. So it's it's wild because unless you had been to like Chicago, I generally, because I mean, I went to BrickCon the one year. And I mean, that, I mean, that one, because of I think everybody, everything ending late and everything, I never, I knew Guy. And I, a couple people, but you know, um, that was kind of weird. And then the brick for New England, I knew Tom and a few of the people that were out there, but I mean, it's you know, unless you really spend a lot of time, and that's the problem with that big castle, is it took a lot of time to set up, so yeah, you lose a lot of that social time. That's set up a big crazy box. long time to set up, and, and that's and that's part of the reason I went to the smaller castle was you know, and the collab, so that a I'm not stealing the spotlight, and two. I other you know I don't have to spend as, as much time setting up, and that's kind of why I started that stuff. I I loved having the big sieges on the big castle, but a lot of setup time. Didn't you have like eight hundred minifigures set up? Oh yeah, I mean yeah, I have. Well, I mean I still have. Well, I yeah, at least. I mean, right? I mean, was now, it like, what was the real number though? I thought it was a lot. It was like a well, I have eight, I have about seven hundred. Yeah, probably eight hundred plus. I have seven hundred and fifty ice bears, I believe. 
Let's see, 100 saber tooths, 50 crocs. Now I have 150 or I have 120 badgers now. The custom one I made. Can you imagine, TJ? Can you imagine? No, I can't. Can you imagine having 800 of a minifigure? Nope. Can you guys I in mean, chat imagine? I mean... I'd love to have 800 of a couple different minifigs, but... Well, I've got... Now I've got the... I got the badgers now. Are you going to keep all those forever? Yeah, the badgers are the new one. If I can get more of the torsos, but like the eight hundred, the eight hundred bears. I re, uh, yeah, I'm probably those guys will probably. Well, I'll have a small contingent buried with me. I'll have, definitely need my security force buried. Buried with you when you die? At least, at least about fifteen of them or so. Yeah, yeah, I'll need my need Very my morbid guy. Sorry, I need my I need my ice bears to guard my spirit. Yeah. You're like an Egyptian pharaoh. Well, actually, maybe not the ice bears, the badgers, the badgers. The ice bears would probably uh they'll 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 go where where so they'll go they'll go to Kevin. So when he Mr. Hinkle, when he's working on the uh the the newer versions of the Hope Castle, he's got an army to defend. You would absolutely do that to me, and I would feel so incredibly guilty and indebted to you. So I would have to do it. I'd hate you forever. <laughs> Curse no, you. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Well, actually, you know, I mean, unless it happened tomorrow, I mean. Who knows? I don't know where it like, would go. Man, Reed cursed me to this life. He knew I would never say no. I, 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 no, it'd be like I knew it was the only way to get him back into the hobby. I'd have to like guilt trip him into doing something. You know, On with, your with deathbed. Hope. Be like, guess what, Kevin? Yeah, in the will. You're kidding the Hope Castle. Hope you enjoy it. Have fun with all that clear. And it's only the clear. I gave away all the other colors. Yes, only clear. Only the clear. Amazing. I was gonna say. So I mean, in terms of, so you just all you still have left is just your awards, basically, like your guardsmen and stuff like that, right? Yeah. No, I don't have anything else. I literally have nothing else. I didn't have. even keep your favorite set from a kit from nope. childhood. You didn't even keep nope. that. No, nope. I've got. Two bankers boxes, two bankers boxes that have all of my gifts, like sig figs that people gave me. I didn't get rid of any of those. So all the sig figs people gave me, all my brick badges from my however many hundreds of shows, uh, and then employee gifts, the employee like trophy gifts, not gifts sets. Yeah, uh, yeah. The recognition things, and oh. The the things like the things like this. Yeah, the ten year, the five year. The ten year is uh, what I was shooting for. And then yeah, anything that yeah. people gave. If, you, know, you know what's funny, Kevin? If this show makes it ten years, you're gonna help me re you know reverse engineer that guardsman because I'm gonna give myself a guardsman for making Frank and Bricks ten years. You can give I bet you Marianne has done that, that guardsman. I bet oh, you you know you're right. I should talk to her. I should you're right, I should talk to her. She's actually been battling uh she actually had she had she been battling cancer or something like recently. So yeah, I heard about that. She's actually she looks better. She posted a picture recently. I mean, she, obviously she's starting to get her hair back, and so, um, yeah. I mean, it's it's wild. It's but it's like yeah, it's one of those things that yeah, I might have to see if she wants me to put her in the clover. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. I haven't talked to her yet, so I haven't talked mm -hmm. to her in a while. No, she's not coming to Chicago this year. She had booked a room. But then was going to give it up because she uh, didn't think she could make the trip this year. So, oh. that's yeah, yeah. But mm. well, I mean, next year obviously I got the two trips. I guess will be Chicago and then um, more uh, Colorado, Denver, or whatever. So maybe maybe Haley off the swing by pick you up and bring you up to Denver next year. <laughs> well, I mean, I might do. Are. I might do. I was. You know, like I said, I had applied to do uh, Fan Expo of Denver. Oh, okay. But then I got out. Of, I sold all my stuff, so I don't have any product to sell there now. now do you, now the question is, do you still have the the friends up here? Is uh, like we showed that picture. Um, Dan is Dan still up here in this area? No, nope. he lives in Vancouver now. Oh, okay. He works for um, uh, DreamWorks. They did the Shrek and stuff. He works for them. Mm. He does animation for them, which is incredible. It's what we wanted to do when we graduated college and we were stupid kids. Mm -hmm. 
all wanted to do feature animation. I wanted how, to do how many how many were in your class for feature animation and how many end up in the into that field? Oh, not many. Not many. Because we also graduated at like literally the worst time ever to grad. We graduated in 2008 when it was the recession. So oh. no, no, none of us got hired. Um, I mean, it was already bad economy anyway. And we were artists. Get out of here. We had no chance. Uh, so it took all of us like up until now to start getting art jobs, which is ridiculous. But um, my other my other friend, John, I don't know if you remember him. Um He's in Austin now, actually. So he moved from Denver to Austin because he works for Powerhouse Animation. And uh, I guess Powerhouse Animation is in Austin. So I was like, yeah. that's crazy, man, that like I moved to Austin to call it, or Colorado to go to school and I met you and you were from Colorado. And then you moved to Austin after I left Austin <laughs> to go to Connecticut. Uh, yeah. So he lives in Austin now. He's doing that. And then we had another friend who ended up going to Pixar. He was at Pixar for a while, uh, but then he got laid off a couple of years ago and then he went to blue sky animation they yeah. did like ice age and stuff oh, okay but then they got shut down like blue sky doesn't exist anymore mm, wow but yeah, well, I don't yeah. Have, uh, anything other than yeah like give people gave me mocks and stuff over the years and i kept all of the gifts that i was given so the hammer Yep. Simon the hammer. Yep. You have the band, you have the band hammer. Oh yeah. Let me see. Actually, let's see if I actually let's if let's see if this is the picture I want. If this is the picture I want. So so you actually you one of your sig figs is actually part of the roller disco, the current version, actually. Because it's it's Hinkle Rachi on the piano. Oh yeah, there I am. Look at all those ladies. Yep, you've got your you've got your uh what is it your what do they call it? The fans but your uh my groupies groupies yep your groupies your they waited they waited enough years ladies you can you can you <laughs> wait you run the long game <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah so yeah and that, that i think that's the one with the white and the white shirt green pants or something but, yeah Actually, yeah that's probably the i think that's the one that has like the least value i think yeah yeah that's probably a good one to have on there probably the black one somewhere but so this is so this is the current one. The you the new one will be steal your hinkle. That's so sad. What? You think someone would steal your hinkle fig? That's sad. Uh, maybe it's the right show they might. So the new one will be like five of these long, five clear play, uh, sixteen by sixteens long, with uh, one each on the end and three center with like just uh, like I said, just uh, plain stuff. But yeah, I mean, so I mean, I I I, th I like the disco. I like the lighting. And that's the thing. Actually, that's why I haven't made a lot of progress is I ordered a whole another set of lights. So technically I have two of the same, but I'm displaying this for like the next couple shows. So I need to keep this one alive, but I want to build, start working on the other one. So I might still have to order some more clear base plates too. So that's going to kind of suck, but those are going up in price, but mm -hmm. I wish I would have bought in one of those, uh, those big 48 uh, the 48 by 48 ones from you, the clear ones when I had the chance, but yeah, those are Q Q elements. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I think, I don't even remember who bought those for me. I think Howie bought some for me. I thought, I mean, they're probably sitting there out on fucking brick link for a stupid amount. Probably. probably. So, I mean, probably let's be, it. let's be real. Probably. Probably. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, why wouldn't they? <laughs> you know, you know, they, they in don't... this economy, <laughs> somebody's probably somebody might want it, right? Right? Somebody might be worth paying a crazy amount for it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there, there's 31 lots on Bricklink for it. Oh, see this. Oh. 40 bucks is the cheapest one. Oh, Brick Five's got 25 of them. Did he buy them from you, maybe? He, I think he bought some from me. I don't remember how many, but I'm pretty sure he bought. How much do you know, how much do you think his are going for? Take a guess. Cheapest on Bricklink is 40 bucks. Um he's got cheap, 25. Cheapest is how much? $40 each. So he's selling it for 50. 60. Almost. <laughs> 
almost got there. And there's somebody that's over in Netherlands. Got yeah, you have personal connection. You can hit him up. Like, Brick Bob, I just need one. I just need one. Worth what, a shot. To, what, what do I need to buy to get it a little bit cheaper? Worth a shot for old time's sake. Yeah. How much did you remember how much you sold yours for? No. Oh, well, Lord, no. no. No idea. That was forever ago. I know. I figured. And I, it. And I sold a thousand other things. So I don't remember the prices for really anything I sold. Help, I missed the brick sale. So. Who's to say? Who's to say? I don't know. I don't feel like building anything else. I took the ice icebergs apart. I was going to try and build steps. They were all kinds of stuff, but I didn't build it. Are you know, you're cooked? Hmm? You're cooked. You're done. Yeah, I might have to go and play some Lego Fortnite. They did an update. I played the other day. It went okay. Oh yeah, they added Ninjago kind of, but all you can do is some sort of event thing where you learn Spinjitzu. You don't actually oh, get Ninjago yeah, skins. I I think that's like a separate map type kind of thing. I, I have yeah. Yeah, so I I don't know much about Lego Fortnite, so I have no but, idea. But, but they I do. need Ninjago skins to play Fortnite. Oh, well, they yeah, do have the, uh, they do have a bunch the of the. Way. Well, <laughs> what, guys, it's the only way. Well, the question yeah. is, I mean, what? It's I the mean, only way they get me into Fortnite. What would be some of the uh, um, different? Because I don't know where this guy is from. They had one guy that, that looked like almost like a rabbit type kind of thing. But I don't think that. I don't, I don't know what he's from. Um, Who? Luminous. I don't know what that is. That must be something from no, different yeah. regular Fortnite. So, but um, yeah, they but they do have the they have the uh, the temple type. Uh, yeah. The Ninjago temple type. I'm kind still of stuff. surprised that you're yeah. like, jazzed about it because everyone. Else, I mean, I don't have a vibe. Well, yeah, I mean. Luminous. You Luminous have to be a gatherer. You, ha you have to be somebody who's willing to gather stuff. Unless you're going to play in freestyle mode. If you're going to play in a survival mode, you have to be somebody who actually is used to gathering stuff. What what has been your work? Uh, huh? What what are you hearing, TJ? Are people jazzed about Lego Fortnite? I mean, it was kind of a, a big thing for like the first week, and they even got a bunch of like the big streamers playing it who aren't into Lego, and then it just kind of fell off, and I haven't heard much about it since. The apart newest patch is kind of newest patch yeah. is buggy too. So yeah. Yeah, apart from like the leakers that I follow saying like, oh, this is coming out in Fortnite. I don't really see anything about it. I don't know who's playing it. I know um there's a couple people that I know that have played it, but I don't know if they're still playing it. So I got you. Who knows? Yeah. But uh yeah, Luminous is an epic outfit in Fortnite that can be purchased in the item shop for fifteen hundred V bucks. He was released in season eight and it's part of the Interstellar set. That is from the Fortnite wiki. Look at that. Yeah. So you're you love it though, Reed. You're all about it. Well, I mean, oh I mean, but now that now well I'm all about the games that we were playing together and stuff. But when it's come now it's gonna be crunch time for build time and like I said, as the storage warms up and I, I'm out there building a lot, it. I mean, I I didn't play much this last week. I mean, because I was building and doing stuff in storage. So to me, it's one of those things where I play that stuff, but as crunch time comes for building and whatnot, it it drops off. It doesn't it doesn't get as much playing time. But that's but if you look at Minecraft, like Hoosier and Haley and all those guys, B for C, all those guys were playing and they they sucked me in during the pandemic and now that we're back to true showtime once the shows started back up full swing and they're building they hard they hardly got in there and then Haley was playing a little bit of the lego fortnite when it first came out and then she's stepped back to do building again so when i got in there she was already kind of out of it already because she's building again so i mean i i like it because you can build it's okay. I mean, just like anything else, I need to learn how to build more. I started working on like like a an actual like rough from scratch castle, you know, kind of in the in the hope castle format of sorts. Um, but you know, you gotta be you gotta be good at building, and it's you know, take, everything takes yeah. time and it takes resources in survival mode. So it's not like just it's it's a little harder to grab stuff because you have to actually. You can't just dig up the ground and build from the ground like in Minecraft. You actually have to hunt down and take chop down trees and find rock. And so, I mean, mm. but you have to be willing to do. But that's in any game. World of Warcraft, you had to hunt down stuff. You had to fly halfway across the world for some stuff. I remember playing that. I still have my accounts for that. That was fun. I mean, I enjoyed that when I was playing with people. And that was the thing. 
as I as I as I got older, I would play games based on where I was at. So Clash of Clans when I was hanging out at the bowling center a lot with the guys at the one center. Then I played, and those guys also played Lineage 2. So I played Lineage 2. I went to cable and those guys were playing World of Warcraft. So I was doing World of War World of Warcraft. And so it's just like, I mean, I was unemployed. I was doing the strategy games. And so it's just like, yeah. Night. Night. No, get the pie. <laughs> <laughs> no, this opportunity. Not tonight. No, I don't think we even have a pie here that would work for it. So, um, that would be something really, really old in the freezer. Freezer burner, I'd probably break my nose and maybe pie. And, you know, yeah. So we're gonna pie yeah. read in the face with a solid chunk of ice. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I mean, but each game is you know, I mean, and now we were doing the D and D. Once we started the D and D, I was doing that, building dice towers, and so it's, it's there's all kinds of stuff out there. Plus, I need to build, and like you and you keep talking about the castle, the castle. I mean, when you think about Brickworld, you've been to Brickworld. They want newer stuff. And now that they're almost like maxed for space every year now, or at least last year was the first year where they asked people to reduce space, which we did. We cut ours in half, which people were like, what were we going to do with the other half? I'm like, I don't know. We would have found something to use it for. Um, but it's one of those things where the castle hasn't, nothing's been revamped enough to where I'd want to take it back in its current form. That's the problem. And so I'm building something new. But for a, for a reason, I'm re building it. But I was going to build a castle on top, which I might still have to do unless Michael comes through, unless Michael Frederick comes through and uses all the upper space, which I would hope he could. And hopefully 60 inches by 90 inches would be enough for what his idea is that I, I've heard, but maybe not. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, because TJ, you're, that's all new, right? What you're building for Chicago this yeah. year? That's it's a whole new creation. Yeah, what I'm building is is all new. I'm I'm sharing a table with Amber Laya. What she's building is all new as well. So, because you yeah. took apart the one from last year, right? Did you already take that one? No, apart? the the one I have the one I have is it's still up. It's over there. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm now I have the other one that I'm working on. So you'll probably keep you'll keep the uh, keep the old one up for maybe like a local show or something, perhaps. Yeah. Well, I just want to keep it up. Period. I like it, so it's just going to stay together. Same with the Temple of Air Jitsu, but I'm designing that base to be all modular so I can yeah. take it apart and store it away because I'm not going to display it in the full. Yeah. Full I was going to say, I mean, my my big castle, like, Kevin, I'd love to go back to that. I mean, I'd go back to that if I knew I was going to go to, like, Atlantic BrickCon or something where I'd see Bricksmith and, it'll go, and be next to, like, the Pink Castle. So that would be, that's motivation yeah, yeah. there at some point. The, with the Temple of Fortitude, I want to rework the base because I figured out that having the two base plates stuck together makes transport more difficult. And having the bottom floor attached to the base plate doesn't help things either. So I want to mm -hmm. lift it off and rework the base a little bit. But that's a project for a later time because right that now is crunch a time for this. tomorrow TJ problem. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you have yeah, to just the, basically. Yeah. Build it and so you can drop it into place. You can drop the you know, yeah the, exactly. The, the, I'm sunken mills where you can drop it into place. And if nothing else, I think I had a couple of I had a couple like the modules in my original clover where they'd slide together and they'd both have indentations. They'd match up and then something would stick in there and that's kind of what you have to yeah. do. Yeah, and now, I'm, granted, I'm designing the temple of Erjitsu that way, where the base kind of sits on top of whatever. It helps that the base is elevated a little bit, but yeah. Me, yeah, that, the new one for this year has a lot of plates stuck together. Like that new disco is two by three, and that's all going to be one plate. So I'm going to have to be transporting it via plywood or something. So the old one was two by two, and it's stuck together. And then the uh, yeah, yeah. So this is this is the whole base. Yeah, there's there's stuff on the other side. It still has to kind of get locked together a bit more, but. Now, are you going to put that like on a That's mill? Or are going to be just that height? Just here, that, that I'll, thick? I'll show you. Let me, let me get all the stuff. Scott, That's fine. That Why does that say Titanium J table? Nah, because that's a thing. Oh, on right. my channel. We Your have, table? Um, it's, it, no, we have a redeem where people say table. And then what I do is this. I, I take the camera and I point it at the table. Yeah. And I say... Look at this hardwood table. This is everything you ever wanted. 
<laughs> stuff along those lines. All your dreams will come true. Yeah. And rub the table. Again. Rub the table. Knock on the knock on wood. You'll be fine. But there are, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there, there's nine base plates total, but the four, these four are for the main temple. Oh, yeah. So yeah, three they, of them, yeah. three of them connect together. Just one yep. technic connection. I think that'll suffice. The, these corners are mirrored. Yep. Then the back part isn't connected at all. It just slides out. I think when I build this and when I attach it, I'll just attach it via plates. Because mm -hmm. then when I need to lift up the temple, I can just pull this out without any technic connections. And... Yep lifted up from the bottom rather than from the sides because the sides are more risky. Have oh, you yeah. done something this big before? Nope, this is my biggest mock to date. I was gonna say this seems a little uh a little hardcore for the TJ I know. No, it's um I've I've stepped up my game and after this I'm probably not gonna do a big mock for a while. Well I'm proud of you. Yeah, it, it. I mean, it. You know, it's one of those things where you know you're. It's a learning process. You might go through this couple different versions. You know, because like this is how I did the castles, where I just dropped. They're not, the they're not attached to the build, but these are the stairs. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Nice. Yeah. Oh, Fancy. Yeah. Very happy about that. Yeah. Yep. So this is kind of this is how I did like the castles over the years. I just build it and then sink it. So you can just drop it in. There's like tiles. It'll just sit on there on the tiles, but it's in the shape. So it kind of just sits in there. And that's always kind of a neat way to do things too. You know, it's makes it, I mean, but I'm trying, and that's what I'm actually trying to shift away from more or less where it's just, you know, kind of like the old style of the big castle that Dave O'Hare had, where it was just huge sections. Yeah. This is the roof technique. I showed this at the beginning of stream and I'm showing it again. And the colors aren't all final. It's going to be all black. But this is what I came up with this week. The entire thing and will be black? Everything? So the the roof. So like here all the way around, then on the second floor, then on the third floor up to the roof. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, the temple walls stuff are stuff to right replace right. when that time comes. Yeah. No, I need a couple thousand black <laughs> cylinders. <laughs> oh, is that all? <laughs> yeah, that's all. Just just a couple thousand, not the major. I've been doing got, math and they, they math got me crazy. Yeah, it's terrifying from a cost standpoint. Oh yeah, you're they, they just gotta make sure you have enough uh, ninjas to 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 to, to arm the castle. You know. So. Oh yeah. Good yes, point. and now your next step is to buy eight hundred minifigures. <laughs> and then Actually, I caught up. I've got plans for lights as well. I need to start working on that so that I can order however many more lights I need. Yeah. So yeah. that's going to be a thing. This sounds expensive. It is expensive. And I'm realizing that now. I'm just hoping, because we're talking about ninjas. I'm hoping when I go to Denver next year for the convention, I'm hoping uh, Janine's going to bring back, her, I hope she's still got her ninja castle that the ice bears can attack. So, so I'm kind of hoping for us. We'll see. The last time they attacked the they attacked each other, I think, was the Hobby Expo in 2015 or something like that. So. Yeah. The fun yeah, stuff. The, the next big Ninjago project that I want to do is Borg Tower, which is a massive skyscraper. Mm. It's huge. Oh. I mean, it'll make the Temple of Air Jitsu look small. Let's put it that way. If I want to follow through with my full plans on it. Do they have something called Borg in Ninjago? Yeah, Borg Tower. It's uh, the owner is Cyrus Borg. How the genius did they get away inventor. with that copyright? Well, he, he was turned into a cyborg. Yeah, but that's a Star yeah. Trek copyrighted term. Well, they the uh, the villains for that season were the Nindroids. So that's how they would get around them. They were just robots. <laughs> Cyrus Borg was more of an anomaly. I mean, it was only him and Wu that were turned into cyborgs. Mm -hmm. And then it got mm -hmm. undone after the season ended. So. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's an eventual thing. I'm going to start planning it, but I'm not going to start building it for a little while. I have 
smaller projects to work sure. on before that. Bigger fish to fry. Yeah. I, plus, I have sets to catch up on, too. I'm oh, yes, way those behind. Are yeah, I'm way behind in all the sets that I want to buy. I have a list of, like, well, between the regular purchases, the impulse buys, and the maybe wanted list, I have like 50 sets. Jeez. Which is a lot. It is a lot. A lot of a lot of big ones, too. There's a, a D&D sets on there. That's $360. You hit the lottery recently? Nope. <laughs> That's why it's in the maybe category. You, you, earning, you earning money on Twitch by getting pied in the face? <laughs> nope, I haven't been pied in the face yet. Not yet. Stand by. Not yet. It's coming. Stay tuned. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe not. That might be a goal. I might stoop that low. It sounds like it sounds I, might, like... I might stoop that low. Whatever like you do, happening. you can't. You can't have a speedo. Don't do that. <laughs> oh no, no, definitely not. I mean, I've thought about potential costume goals, but. No speedos. I'm still going to be fully clothed. Very good. They're, they're I don't think Cap's no moving way. tomorrow, so maybe that's... Moving tomorrow? He's moving tomorrow. Yeah. Sounds like it's off piece post on Facebook, so... There you go. Up. He's alive. That's good. It's good. I mean, that means if he's moving, then hopefully that'll be... Uh, I mean, he'll find out. I mean, just like anything else, it's never still a guarantee for Chicago, but, you know, we'll see. I mean... I guess, uh, you know, worst case, like last year was just Chop and I at Chicago. Michael had something small. Maybe this year will be just myself and Michael, which means I got to build a lot for the bottom, but that's fine. Not, I'm used to it, you know. You got this. I wish I'd I wish i taken I wish I'd taken pictures of my apartment in uh, Lakewood, kind of by the store there, because I remember that was – I wanted to figure out what my setup was there. That was the that time where I took home the, the build I took to Estes Park. It was like a, a bridge thing. And as I brought it in, or something I, something I built, I brought it in, slid off whatever I was carrying it on, and just on the Amazing. Floor. Incredible. Yep. Fun stuff. Drop test. Drop, an un, unintended drop test. Yes, yes. Forgot about drop test. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I, could, I could drop test in Ewok Village. I mean, that might be heartbreaking all that brown in there, but you know that, that, oh, would, yeah. that would get some views. That might get more crying than actual. That would uh, get the views. No, I don't. My my Twitch chat was asking me how much, how, how many subs to drop the mock Rock that I'm working it. on, Ooh. and I I gave them a I gave I told them a thousand, but I'm going to have to take that back in my next stream because I'm a bit too behind. <laughs> to, to, but if you get a thousand, where, dude, you can make the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I also gave them a deadline of. I think two weeks before the Monday before Brick World. Oh, that's, so that's that way. If I <laughs> that way, if I drop it, I still at least have time to repair it. Amazing. Hopefully, but I I think I'm just gonna have to to take it back and back yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Rescind the offer. Oh. Yeah. It's with how much I have left to do. It's it's a bit too risky. Maybe, maybe after. Well, that'll teach maybe you lesson. after Brick World. Yeah. Mm. Don't challenge chat. That's the lesson. No, ever, never, ever, ever, never. I've made I've made a few mistakes of challenging chat. I've been clipped a few times. Yeah, you know, you made it. Well, I mean, Hoosier can attest to that because he's you know we we start doing those super chats and he'll and he'll say it and he'll forget that oh. You know, you suddenly, you suddenly, uh, oh, magically have deep pockets if you know you, uh, yep. you challenge, say something, yes. yeah, it suddenly goes crazy. Or, or some of us just like dude, dude or myself will just unintentionally just do a super chat, start something that wasn't ever meant to start, and it just blows up. And before you know it, it's like, oh man! Before you know it, you got major views and major monies. Yeah, and major I issues. That you really didn't want to eat that bologna and you know mayonnaise. It's and for whatever. the bit. It's for the bit. Peanut butter was it? Peanut butter, mayonnaise, and something else. I don't know what it was. Bananas, man, or something. I don't know. It was, it was weird. Oh, dude, you'd probably remember. I think it was mayo, oh. peanut butter, and something else. I thought. I don't know. I'll drop test sets all day long, but I'm not drop testing the mock. I can't. No, they take too long. I mean, I could drop test parts of the castle, but it would just watch it just be like 
be like, shoot. They'd be like, well, where's the I mean, noise? That's a small mock, but not a big one. I say the plates would just kind of tweak. I've done it. I've done it before unintentionally, and just it just it just they won't break break. It'll just it'll just like tweak, and then you'll be like, ah, well that wasn't very good. That was almost like Patrick. I could jump. I could jump. Drop down. Drop. Uh, bit up, drop test. Pendragon Fortress. Can you say in that same voice? <gasps> no, <gasps> this is Patrick. No, this is Patrick. No, this is Patrick. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I do just do too many different voices. You gotta, is, you, know, you just gotta catch with the right thing for the right thing. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Uh, I'll get you, Inspector Gadget. Dun, 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 dun. See, yeah, um, I've heard of Inspector Gadget, but I haven't seen enough of it to know the lore. Mm, use of force is so much easier than talking like duck or claw. Uh, I don't know. I think it's about time I end this. End this. <laughs> <laughs> what a what an amazing! All right, well, time to end. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're gonna do this, and we'll go ahead and do a last thing of Taylor here. So, and of course, building in the pick you with Taylor. Good memories. Good memory. Hell yeah! That was a set that was going on display, and told they like you, you did what? I says I built a, a set with a kid in the hospital, and like. I was like, I got, supposedly they didn't like that. I was like, why would you not like that? That's like got to be the best PR in the world. But I guess they didn't like it. I'm like, whatever. Okay, folks. Let's see where there's the ending. Regular ending. Uh, here we go. Everybody have a great night. We'll see everybody next week. Bye. Bye.